Okay, I think we are all good. Hi, Dem! Also, hi, Zay, with the early horn. Heck! Heck! Oh, dear. You've had the channel open for two hours? <laughs> what the heck? Also, hi! Early fwap! Yeah, are you playing Minecraft today? Hear the music. No, no musics. Now, no. Wait, now, no musics? What? You can't hear it suddenly? Oh, no. Wait, why can't you hear the music? Oh dear. Uh, let me see. Never mind, it's back. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. Lala, how you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Welcome, welcome. It was a quiet part. Yeah, that's the thing with Minecraft music. It kind of dips in and out a lot. So, um, but I'm hoping it'll be nice and chill. And also, I can't play Minecraft on stream, unfortunately, because, you know, Bob is Bob is not up for that. <laughs> Bob barely handles marbles, let alone Minecraft. Um, but I like the music, it's nice and chill. Good vibes, good vibes, Minecraft music, yeah! So I was like, I'm looking for some good vibes, and recently I've not been trusting Pretzel to continuously give out the chill sort of like vibes. You type in chill music and it's like, yes, I can do that for two songs, but then you will get the most hype dubstep music that you've ever asked for, and it's like, I like hearing it, but it's not what I asked for. Oh dear, I may or may not have had stream open early Tuesday, is that so you get the first wap in? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you, and thank you very much, it's very kind of you. It needs to be re -dyed. Look at them roots! Look at them! I mean, this bit's kind of hidden. Look at them! Oh my god. I got roots for days. I'm kind of trying to grow them out though so that they're like an inch long, because the first inch of your hair when you bleach it, bleaches really well. And so if my roots are like an inch long, I get the most out of my bleach. <laughs> Ah, when you get Bob 2.0. Oh, Dalama, thank you for the follow as well. It's very kind of you. When you get Bob 2.0, we need me, you shifty collab. Heck, yeah, for Minecraft. I'm, I'll be honest, I played Minecraft, I play it on and off a lot. So when I do play it, I play it a lot. And then um, I kind of stop for a while and I haven't played it for a couple of updates, I think. And I tell you, I haven't been to the Never for ages. Even when I do play it, I avoid the Never like the plague. I, I don't like the Never. So I haven't been to the nether for ages <laughs> and I know like there's been a lot of updates and a lot of changes and um, yeah I, I have no idea what's going on in there. <laughs> People keep telling me there's lots of different stuff going on in there and things you can do and I'm like I don't want to go in. <laughs> I don't like the nether at all. Ah uh, Des, you do cosplay? Um, I do some cosplay, I mainly do cosplay. Um, but yeah I guess because I, I do men and women. But yeah. Ah, oh, it's Tuesday now. What? Not here. But I guess, yeah, actually, there'll be some areas where we'll be. Over here, we're, we're right bang in the middle of Monday. I can, I can right in the middle of a Monday. Oh dear. But also it's proper gray outside, so I was like, bam, full gray outfit. We're matching the weather. It also kind of looks like I'm matching the backdrop. Just going really gray. I also pinned the shorts on the mannequin. So it kind of looks like the mannequin's wearing an outfit. Kind of, kind of. Oh, I spelled that wrong. That's fair, that's fair. Jelly mates cosplays? Who would have thought? Not me. 
Oh, also, actually, while we're in chat, what is the pog champ of the day? <laughs> I'm curious. Who, who, whoops to be pog champ today? Do you just type it in? Oh, does that work? Damn it. No, that's not how you do it. How do you do it? Ah, you got it. Oh, that's who it is today. Cool, cool. You may cosplay not cross, but that's fine, that's fine. I do do the cosplays. Daily tips to get through the week. Bang in the middle of Monday. No, no! <laughs> oh. Sydney one pog. That is a pog, but we, we there's like a different pog champ every day at the moment, and I'm, I just, I, I really like that idea. I really like it. I think that's been a really good way to, to still have a pog champ, but just have it be different every day, and I, I'm really on board with it. I'm just like, what's the pog champ today? They change every day, yeah, so if you do PogChamp, it'll be different every day at the moment because they've got rid of the original PogChamp because of some issues around the person it was based on. Right now, to replace the original PogChamp, they're changing it every single day, so every day that you type in PogChamp, it'll be a different person. Um, so it'll be a different streamer and who has a PogChamp-style emote. And yeah, it's really cool. It's cool just to see who it is. It's just Pog-Tab when you have B... TTV installed. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's changing every day. I think it has been since Saturday. I think Saturday was the first day. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But I think it was Saturday. And I have been enjoying it. I have been enjoying seeing what's happened. I'm not aware of what happened with the original guy. I, I only found out last week, so I'm, I wasn't super up to date. I, I didn't even know who it was. I, I'm like, I think one of the 95% of people who didn't even know who it was. Um, but yeah, I, I like it. I like what they've done. They do now because the other got removed. Please look up the reason why. If you want to know, as we like to keep things gently vibe, chill vibes here. Yeah. I think, I, I also think like, just, just the new thing is good. They can just keep this. <laughs> Like a new fog champ every day? Amazing! I love that! Ah oh dear! Gon, how are you doing? Have you taken care of your voice jelly? Are you good? I am good, thank you Gon. I hope you are having a good day. Actually, I, I was going to stream yesterday uh, because, I, as a, lot, a few people know, I am technically kind of finding out if I'm working by the week at the moment because Wales is in lockdown and has been since before Christmas. Um, so I'm finding out if I'm working by the week and last week I found out again I wasn't working, so I was gonna stream on the weekend, but then, but then, um, uh, I was like, actually, no, I won't stream. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a couple days of not streaming. Uh, I couldn't have done it on, on Saturday anyway, but on Sunday, I was like, I'm not gonna stream. I'm, I'm gonna tidy. <laughs> and so now we, ha we, now we are clean, clean house. Uh, I, I feel proper, 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 like, organized. Oh, heck, Jason, how you doing? Uh, howdy y'all. Howdy. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you so, so much. That's very, very kind of you. But eight egg and mumps? That's a long time. That's a long time. I want Maya to be one of the daily pogs. Oh, that'd be, that'd be so cute. That'd be so cute. Do pog to Mr. Maya? Ah, oh, dear. All the loves. All the loves. Thank you so much, Jason. That's very, very kind of you. You do gonna stream, but you didn't. How dare you do IRL stuff instead? I know, right? It's terrible of me. Truly terrible. I yeah, I, I cleaned. I cleaned in here. Did did some other cleaning around the house. We did did cleaning. <laughs> it was pretty good. And uh, I played some Animal Crossing. That was good. My Animal Crossing Island. I, I actually did a, a couple of things on the patterns we did the other day. So I, I altered the sushi pattern just a little bit because I it was just looking a little bit too green. So I put some extra like other colors in it. Uh, I think it looks a little bit better now. I also made a dumpling pattern, so there's like a little basket of dumplings now, so they can go on the stools. Um, I've also made a platform pattern, so that you can have like a train platform uh, on the floor of Animal Crossing. I like that one a lot. I think that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Uh, what am I drinking? It's a cup of tea. <laughs> uh, so it's just English breakfast tea. Um, it's, it's kind of over here when you go into shops and you buy tea This is this is the only kind of tea really that you, you see like rows of this and then at this end Maybe you get a couple of herbal teas. It's just in Britain. You don't really call it English breakfast tea You just call it tea if I refer to it as tea. I'm, I'm sorry, it, it, but it is English breakfast tea <laughs> Ah dear 
jelly every workout somehow you look buff i think tidy is my tiny buff you do look buff thank you i'm not buff at all <laughs> but i appreciate it still i i i um i think the only real work i work i walk a lot i would say that my arms are not very buff but i've got strong legs um i do a lot of walking and like like paced walking <laughs> um uh, you look you can mess me up oh no i would never i would never uh why do they sell English breakfast tea in England? I think they have to say what kind of tea it is. Oh, there's a horn. Oh, there's a horn. Heck. Heck. Um, I think they have to say what kind of tea it is under it. Um, and brands like Twinings always say because they sell, that particular brand sells so many different types of tea. Oh, avocado, hi. And thank you so much for five months. Also, hi, avocado. I hope you're having a good time. And I hope you're doing well with all your cosplays and stuff. Anyone that doesn't know Avocado, Avocado is a very talented cosplayer. Um, I hope everything's going well. Oh dear. Oh, Manzarek, hi. Hi from cold, cold Siberia. Oh, I hope you're doing well. Oh dear. Cold weather. Get yourself, I hope you have a warm drink and some blankets. Oh dear. Yeah, Avocado is a very, very talented cosplayer. I hope your cosplays are going well. And Pip Boy, hi! I know your workout, you do 300s as a spa to kick every day. I know your secret. Every day, every day. Kick, kick, kick. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I do a lot of walking more, but my upper arms, there's a reason we call these noodles. It's because they keep the same width the whole way down. <laughs> they used to be a lot stronger, but right now they are like noodle. I don't know if you can see the same width. They go in a little bit at the wrist and then it's width. <laughs> noodle arms i would like them to be a bit stronger i've been considering because i have um we have the the switch to get the the ring fit because that looks like it targets more the arms and i would like my arms to get stronger <laughs> so yeah because i'm like quite happy with my legs are strong <laughs> I, I, I also have like shoes that are really weighted so my, my my legs are strong but my arms could really do with a little bit more like anything. Yeah. Oh, the emoji gonna learn. Thank you, Dal. That's very kind of you. Hello, everyone. Sorry I haven't popped in a while. I missed everyone. Oh, bless your avocado. That's fine. You seem like a very busy person and the things that you do are... So, I yes, that's fine. I hope you're doing good. Have a life outside the stream. Bless you. And what looks worthy? Hi, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Excited to see... Uh, to be out and enjoying life again, but also sad that I miss everyone. Yeah, that's, this is the thing as well. If you can be out and have a lovely life, that's good. I'm glad. Uh, I kind of want small arms, but I have destructive hand muscle. <gasps> oh, but like uh, like you see in um, some video games where they have like really small arms and then hands. <laughs> hands for days. Oh, you know, it's a look. I, c I cannot blame you for wanting that look. Oh my God. Yes, I have pretty strong hands. I think because of like guitar and stuff like that, my hands are pretty good. I have a good like, yeah, I have like, pretty strong hands. But um, I used to have strong arms because of like rowing and sports and stuff like that. But no longer, no longer. <laughs> they have gone. They have left me and now all I have are these noodles. Oh, any workout. Like, yeah, like that is fun and good. Yeah, like I, it seems like a lot of people quite enjoy it and it does seem like for building a little bit of muscle i don't expect it to work miracles <laughs> but it'd be quite good i'm good i took my boys for an winter walk today that was fun oh a winter walk oh lovely lovely that sounds really nice that i can crush hands you like handshake someone that's like look how trustworthy i am i can crush your hand uh tacky hi how are you doing i hope you're having a good day hello you play guitar i play classical guitar i don't play uh, acoustic and electric and i god cannot sing but i play classical guitar <laughs> uh now i have three days off job boy oh, i feel amazing yay have some good time off gone he even has guitar music oh yeah i do that's what uh this one is <laughs> now just now i can flex now it's uh what do you call it Sheep music? Yeah, sheep music. 
Is Nico going well? Nico is going. I've had to take quite a few days off sewing um, for various reasons. Last Monday for technical reasons because I couldn't hear anything and that was a bit of an issue. Um, and last Friday I had to take off sewing as well and we did Animal Crossing instead which was still a really lovely stream because I was injured <laughs> and I could not use the machinery because I had hit my head and we were playing it safe. Uh, so yeah, I've had to take a few days off, um, which has slowed progress down a little bit, but hopefully today I've done some stuff in advance. So I've started pinning some of pieces on to the belt. Um, I've only done half because I want to sew that on and then pin the other half. Hopefully we can start to make some more progress today. You're learning guitar! Sick. Sick. I gotta go to the store, but I'll leave a like. Oh, thank you, Willux Worthy. Good luck going to the store. I hope it goes well. What's the difference between the classical and acoustic? A lot of it's the way that you play, it's... And also the guitar itself, I suppose, is different. <laughs> um, but yeah, the guitar itself is different, the way that you play is different. I I mean, a lot of the pieces, I suppose, that you would learn would be quite different as well. But yeah, it, it, it's just kind of like the same that it's different between electric, I suppose, and you, you play different. Also, I would never use a plectrum. I think also the strings are different. It's a little difficult because I've never played the acoustic, so I wouldn't exactly know what an acoustic would do. But yeah, it is different. Ah, that I missed your Animal Crossing stream. Oh, bless you. It was a nice chill one. We did a lot of um, making, what should we call them? Uh, the custom designs. I'm really getting into it. I didn't think I'd like it that much, but I'm really enjoying it. Also, how, how are you doing? I think you're having, uh, I think you're having, I hope you are having a good day. Well, I think you are having, I hope you are having a good day. Mondays be getting to me. I think classical uses nylon strings, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, classical uses nylon strings. Um, I think uh, there's a couple of other differences with the... I think the guitar is slightly different, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, I, there's a few differences, but yeah. Because we have steel stringed acoustics and reg classical acoustics. Ooh! There's probably some crossover as well, because yeah, also you have like the the interesting in the middle where you have like electric classicals. Um, where classicals can be have like electric switches at the top so they're much they they basically can be plugged in and be much louder. <laughs> so oh HTTP <laughs> Gossia, thank you for the follow, it's very kind of you. Um but yeah, there's like there's 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 a lot of in-betweeny ones. Um doing well, finally working a cosplay! You have a shot at finishing! Yes! Yes! I have to look back and watch the bottom it's up. Oh, bless you. It's very kind. And thank you for shouting out Hut. Hut makes incredible, very, very detailed, very, very detailed pieces. Yes, if you're interested in that, definitely check out Hut. Very, very cool. Damn, I regret sold my guitar. I missed it. By the time I need the money to pay for some stuff, maybe I'll start saving to buy one for one. Yeah, it's never too late. And like when you're in a place where you have time and make the money, start learning again, it'll be there. You can still t like take it back up again. Ah. <sighs> I missed half the people coming in. Oh, bless you. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Hope you're having a good day. So many pig names. Oh, bless you. <laughs> I'm making Harry some game. Hades, yes, you are. I hope that it's going well. Uh, speaking of which, I should probably start to get on with this cosplay, huh? <laughs> I did also start picking up a few things of stuff that I might want to add, which is what these are on the desk. These are gold shinies. <laughs> um, it's kind of a mixed pot in here. There's small gold shinies and big gold shinies. But basically everything in this pot is a gold shiny. Uh, so I, I took this to one side. These are the uh, uh, the resin pieces we made before. And these are kind of like pendants. Um, I don't know, they were for, from a necklace, but there are some gold ones in here that I might use to the top of this. I'm not gonna strictly follow Nico's design here because I have so many acrylic pieces. I'm probably gonna use way more, but that's okay. Not acrylic, um, resin pieces. I'm probably gonna use way more, but that's okay. I'm quite happy to use more than what's in the original design. Just go way over the top with the gold. I love gold. I always forgot who I've told not. Nah, nah, it's good. And a lot of people in the chat might be interested in seeing that. Mini glider and foam. I mean, it's difficult because both would be fun. <laughs> I think, uh, I think it's it's kind of up to you, right? I mean, what, what would you want to make more imminently? You've been talking about cosplay for a long time. 
If that's something that you want to make imminently, then that's something that you could do right now. Guitar, you would only have to buy one time, but it is a commitment. Completely up to you. Also, Bo, hi! Have a nice day! Oh, thank you, Bo. I hope you're having a nice day too. Ah, oh, it's more fun when you take liberties with the designs, yeah. I mean, the thing is, I was having so much fun with the resin, I've made so many resin pieces. I'm just like, ah, now I have a ton of resin that I, well, have nowhere in the design for, but I guess we can use it somewhere. And I don't, you know, the other option would be, well, I can save it for a future project, but you know how many things I've saved for future projects? That's how hoarding happens. <laughs> and I've hoarded so many things. So, um, I'm being a little careful that I don't slip into the hoarding tendencies too badly with like larger things like the resin. It's okay with like smaller beads so you can keep in packets, but these are big. And um, yeah, <laughs> especially since I still have like half a pot of resin not even made, like I could make more. Uh, I wanna finish guts though, I need to have time to start them again, boy. Excited for 2021. That's how I'm feeling at the moment. Um, I think as soon as um, I, Samir, who is another streamer popped in and was like, oh, there's these competitions happening in 2021. I was like, I'm excited. I'm excited for 2021. There are things I want to do, things I want to make. And I'm very, I'm very excited. <laughs> very excited. Is looking back at Thor between my gravely tall and Aries half and trying desperately not to overcomplicate the design. I know. It's just, especially when you have like an interest in certain things. For me, it's free motion embroidery. And it's so, I, I haven't done any in this design. I've been good. Uh, oh, and, and making wigs, but I did make a wig for this design. Making wigs and free motion embroidery are things that I want to put into literally every design, and they both take so long. <laughs> they take so long. They're both like the most time consuming things, and there's no need to put them into every single design, but I just want to because I love it. <laughs> uh, oh, and Fobsy, thank you for the follow. It's very kind of you. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, some of these needs look really good. If that hurts, because they do. <laughs> they do. Uh, also, Tom, hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you, Tom. I hope you are having a good day. I'm just changing my bobbin thread because I need gold. I do need gold. I was like looking at it like, do I need gold? I do need gold. Yes. Oh, the May competition. Yes. Are you entering hut? Hut? Are we fighting in a good way? Good fights? I like friendly competition. It's like one of my friendly things. Oh, uh, uh, like I love it. I love it so much. Especially if it's up against friends, because then we could be like cheering each other on. Because that way, if I don't get in, which I think is quite likely, because I might not even finish it in time, I can cheer on the people that I do know, <laughs> and I can be like, "Yes, hot." Ah, <laughs> uh, Chameleon, hi. Hope you're having a good morning. I am. Thank you, Chameleon. I hope you're having a good morning. Uh, I do already know I make an engraved leather sword chief stack costume that aren't already in the original. Yeah, heck yeah. And Banana, hi, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. You're entering, yes, if I get Aries done. Heck, yes, yes. Okay, so that's one person, as well as Samir that I can cheer on. I think as well, it seems like there's a couple different, like there's uh, the, the expert and the beginner. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm cheer everyone that gets in. <laughs> so if, if Samir gets in, cheer Samir. And then also if you get in, cheer to you. Basically cheer on everyone I know that gets in. You have a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the question, Banana? Oh yeah, out to the general audience as well. Also, thank you for, thank you for shouting out, Banana. I'm gonna be cutting and dyeing my hair for. Oh, you're using your hair, hair? Look at that dedication. Heck yeah, heck yeah. For me, is this Minecraft music? It is. It is. I was looking for chill vibes, and I've been in kind of like this sort of mood recently. So it's nice just listening to some Minecraft. Set in sleep. <laughs> oh, it's, you could have just said sleeves help, and I'd be like, oh, banana. Oh, banana. Um, I wish you the best of luck in your endeavor. Uh, no, um, set in sleeves help. I, <laughs> I would say, I mean, first off, it's the easiest with that sort of thing when you're watching somebody else do it at the same time. So there will be YouTube tutorials that. If you can find a YouTube tutorial that takes it slow and watch at the same time, that's gonna be the, the best way of doing it. Um, if you have a mock-up as well, 
even if it's just a mock-up of the sleeve so you could do it first on the mock-up and then on your final design that might make it easier just out of like a like a sheeting fabric that that would make it a bit easier so you could try it once or twice make sure your measurements are good because yeah sleeves are horrible <laughs> yeah uh okay actually though yeah i know <laughs> Uh, do I cast beginner if this is my first cosplay? Um, I think beginner, I, I don't know how they did it last time because I was a bit confused on the categories as well because the beginners looked heckin' good <laughs> and I was like, this is, this is beginner? Oh my god! Um, uh, but yeah, I would, I think, I think yes. I think it, I don't know exactly what the change is between the two. Hopefully there'll be a little bit of clarification, but or maybe somebody else knows, but probably. Maybe you can just choose which side you go and in, enter into, whether you want to be in one or the other. Ah, oh dear. Um, I'm dressed up as a kid. Huh? If so, do you not? I'm making a winter coat. Ooh. Winter coats are lovely, but yeah. Is the shout out master Dem? Dem is. Dem is very good. Dem is very good. Oh, thank you for stamping out Forbesy as well. Wait, Forbesy, do you do? Ooh, Ghost Recon. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Currently doing a practice with like a really cheap polycon. That's probably the best thing you can do. Um, because then if you find something that's not going to work, you can do it on something cheap and then come back and, and you know, fix it there, basically. Uh, cleaning at the same time. Nice. I don't know whether some of my issues are because the fabric is really thin and crumples really easily. If it's because the weight of the fabric is different, yeah, that could be an issue. Sometimes it is better to make a, a draft out of a fabric with a similar weight, but then of course with a coat that would become more expensive. Unless you had something like a felt, I suppose, but I know a lot of people don't just have felt lying around in large quantities. Um, mm. Zay. Really struggling to ease it nicely and not s sort of stitch over itself around the shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> Have you tried? I, I, again, I don't want to. I don't want to sound patronising or anything like that. Have you tried tacking it really slowly, like doing a really slow tack on it first, and see if when you're tacking it together, it's if it's still not working with tacking. Uh, I, I, get, uh, I don't know if you have the same terminology actually, hand stitching it first and like rough hand stitching it and then seeing if when you turn it out it, it's correct. Because um, yeah, if, if you try, I, I don't know, again, sometimes with slightly more complicated piece, hand stitching it first uh, and then going over with the machine to strengthen that bond might, might work. With really comp complicated bonds, sometimes only hand stitching it and just giving it a really strong hand stitch might work better than going over with a machine, which is a little bit more limiting than what I can do with turns. But yeah, I, I don't know what you've tried and what you haven't. But that that might give it a go. I was told I should enter that costume, but I'm not actually I haven't been told the name of what it is, what it's called. Oh, what the competition is called? Um, I will find the Twitter. I'm so so sorry. I won't be able to look at. The, the, the chat for a second. I am really bad at this. I know that I'm bad at this. Um, okay, okay. I'll, I'll have to start remembering this. The Twitter is Talk Custom and um, the competition is on Talk Custom's Twitter. There you go. That, that should be the information. Yes. Oh, okay. You haven't given that a go. Brilliant. Okay, fingers crossed that might help. If there's still issues after that, it's got to be some issue with the shape of the fabric or something to do with the pattern, which hopefully could be worked out on a cheaper piece of fabric. I'm sorry, I can't give too much more help than that. We'll get there. The number goes up whenever the command is used. Heck, Dem. Dem, you're getting a shout out. Also, hi, Oz. How you doing? I hope you're having a good day. And purple cosplay, hello. And Sunkoi, hi. How are you doing? I hope you're all having a good day. I'm just gonna shout out Dem because he's he's saying that we don't like we don't like 
them, which is not true. <laughs> Silly Rose Anxious sounds are cute. Oh, bless you, the colours. Not true. <laughs> uh, hi, Sunkoi. Are you having a good day? Uh, oh, thank you for adding a top cast. Actually, that's probably a really good call, especially when we start making the next cosplay because it will specifically be for a competition. And also because, you know, if anybody else is interested, it's still a ways off. Ah, hearts for them. Yeah, hearts for them. Ah, fingers crossed with that, Fanana. I hope, I hope that gives you a little bit of something to work with. Ah, don't be difficult, but very rewarding. It's lovely to have a nice winter coat. Really nice. Right, we're threading some gold into this, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna sew the bit that I've already pinned. Ah, oh, dear. Yay! I've been working and lurking. Oh, lovely. I hope things are going well, Purple. Give it a shout out. Yeah! <laughs> Damn MVP, yeah! You planned out to the contest, Purple! Oh my god, another! So, I, I'm so happy that there are other people I know that are entering because it means that if I don't get in, I could just cheer on everyone else that is <laughs> that gets in. And I'm so happy. I basically want everyone I know that just to enter <laughs> so I can cheer everybody on. Uh, because that's like, it's like one of my favourite things is is going and, and entering competitions with other cosplayers that I know. Um, or like, and also getting to know other cosplayers as well is really fun. But like when you're you're cheering on cosplayers that you know on stage, it's like, yes! <laughs> you can like, you can cheer people on the back. Oh, it's so fun. I don't know if you've ever seen a, a cosplay competition, like a little crowd of people in cosplay going like, yeah! <laughs> in the background <laughs> oh it's great i love it <laughs> oh. oh it's going good setting up a couple of i have a couple of wi-fi's today oh good luck i hope that goes well setting a wi-fi is always a bit of a Ooh. good luck how are things with you good we're slowly 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 getting along this cosplay slowly getting along this cosplay but it, it is going well <laughs> Uh, all of the cosplayers, yes! Everyone! Where's my pincushion? There it is. Ah, oh. yeah. Haha, -ha. no. Yes, yes. Not knowing what this contest is, but hoping it all does their best. Avocado. You, if you were, if you wanted to enter, I would also, I would also cheer you on wholeheartedly. I'm sure everyone else would as well. Uh, it's a, uh, I can't ever remember the name of the contest. Um, it happened last year though, and oh my god, I, I watched the the footage, and the the costumes were just fantastic. It was so cool. The the what people were making was so so amazing. And it was so nice just to see the final stuff. It is called um, online cosplay championship 2021, and yes, that is what it, I think that is what it is called. Yes. Ah. Uh. Oh, uh, SJS! Oh my god, there's two ducks there. How you doing, SJS? I see you with those ducks. I see them. How you doing, SJS? By the way, if anyone wants to know for this contest, beginners are the people who are entering their first costume and those who have been cosplaying less than a year. Thank you, Purple. Actually, that really does help. <laughs> I, I was so unsure. I was like, I don't know what a beginner cosplay is. I don't think that I am one, but I wasn't sure. Cosplay friend support is so wholesome. Yes. Oh, Sun Kai, do it! <laughs> We cheer! <laughs> I can't bump too much because uh, I'll annoy people, but yes. Looks at other cosplayers doing beautiful detail work that continues to randomly hit <laughs> cosplay. Here we go! <laughs> Contest is called Ultimate Online. Oh, thank you, Purple. You were there before me, I think. I don't think I would be qualified because I'm probably not a beginner anymore. No, no, but there's there's two, there's more than one category. There's more than one category. You, I, you would absolutely qualify, I think. Well, you, you know, you could. Yeah, you know. I, I can't remember what the categories are, but I think needlework is good one of them. And avocado, your needlework is stunning. It's like it, it's, it's really, really good. I have to excuse my memory. Oh, there we go. One. I really want to put some gold 
uh, paint over it though because it's more yellow at the moment and I really want it to be more gold. But that's okay, we can come back and do that. <laughs> uh, I'm making I'm making LARP costume for seven years. This is my first cosplay and I do it full. Hi! Yeah, you might need to email the organizers to find that out. Um, but I think regardless, it'd be really cool to see you there. Beginner showcase sewing needlework armor and out of this world. Oh yeah, out of this world. I want to enter out of this world. That is what I want to enter because I'm doing something very tall. Very big. <laughs> very, very tall. <laughs> I want to enter out of this world. But tallness. <laughs> I'm gonna be tall. <laughs> I want to be really tall. Ah, uh, yes. I've always want wanted to do one like that where it's just like ridiculously tall. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Jelly wants to leave the planet. Yee, yeah. I want to be so tall that I'm just like, goodbye everyone. Like Katamari, where it gets so big that I'm like, goodbye everyone. <laughs> I'll be going under sewing since that's the closest to my costume. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! I can't wait to see it. Oh. I hope that it, it's, it's, uh, the, 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 I, cause it's like a live stream, isn't it? The, the, all of the ceremony and like seeing everyone's costumes and everything like that. I hope it's not really late. <laughs> cause, um, I don't think it's in my time zone. So I hope it's not super late. Because I would really like to watch it. I mean, I guess I could always take some time off work to make sure that I can watch it. Hopefully. Oh. Because <laughs> I think it would be really fun to watch. I think Metalwork is allowed for other category and out of this world in reference to heart. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. I, I, I think one of the ones that was entered this year, there was like a... Uh, they had like metal armor and like metal shoulders and like metal sleeves. <laughs> Sleeveys. There's a link, thank you, yay! Been looking at the wall. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Ah. Oh. Also, these are on both sides, by the way, because these could flap up, so I wanted them to put it on both sides. <laughs> Just in case they flap up. Ah, oh. fellow Jello, how you doing, Jelly? I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> I hope Tommy Long please and I don't know what to make. Oh, there's a horn. You know, ever since really early in streaming, Zero said that he could get frozen gyozas. I've really been trying to find frozen gyozas. And I, ha I have yet to find frozen gyozas, but I just think that'd be such a lovely snack. <laughs> oh, it is a beautiful day. I'm glad you're having a beautiful day. It is really grey. <laughs> really grey in Wales right now. So I'm wearing a fully grey outfit so that I match the weather. Oh. Uh, yeah. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna match this weather. Maybe matching the weather is good luck. Who knows? I think it's been a good day so far. I've got a bunch in back there, so I'm gonna have to check that out. Like, why are you bunching? I seem to be sewing all right other than that. Oh, was it bunching or was it just thread? I think it was just thread. They are the uh, automatic alerts we have now. Yes, frozen gears. The gods of Ghostbusters. No, it's hot and sunny in New Zealand. Oh, lovely, lovely. I'm getting updated alerts for my channel. Nice, nice. Also, thank you for the hydrate. Appreciate it. There's no Damus, only Zool. Also, we looks worthy. Welcome back. We had a good trip. Yes, yes. I am well. How are you? Thanks. I am well. Thank you. I'm good. Hmm. All good. Yes. Oh crap. Oh no. Oh no. That's not a good sound. Foam swords. Ah. Uh, is it the weaponry has to be? Has to be, um. No, actually. I, yeah. 
I guess it kind of <laughs> makes sense. Uh, oh, thank you for shouting out Willux Wimpy as well. Uh, oh dear, try to do foam with a hammer. Uh, yeah, I, I suppose because I guess they wouldn't be very happy with someone coming in with a, to a Comic Con with a metal sword. So maybe maybe that's the logic in there. That does, yeah. Foam doesn't take to hammer quite as well as metal takes to hammer, huh? Actually pretty close to finished. I know it doesn't seem like it, but it actually is not that far from finished. Ah, <laughs> uh, nothing in the rules about it. I'm just bad at working with foam. Oh no. I I don't mind foam too much. It's just I can't. Excuse me. I can't do foam um, in this room because of the carpets, and that means I kind of have to do it outside, and it's like minus one. <laughs> And I don't want to do it outside. It's too cold. Yeah. I don't mind foam. It's just cold. I don't mind. I prefer doing foam in the spring. Or autumn. Or like, not the heat of summer, but like, you know, when it's not, when it's not like 30 degrees, but it's also not like, yeah, you know, minus one. one we've had a bit of an issue. I mean, it's not super obvious, but I had a slight issue with that one. No! I just remembered I have one frozen pizza! Heck yeah, heck yeah! Breakfast is served. Now I've eaten about 25 minutes. You know what? Small price to wait for a pizza. Ah, it's been a while since I had pizza. Speaking of which, I don't know what I'm having for dinner tonight. We had dinner planned, like, every day except for Monday this week. <laughs> Maybe we can have pizza. that much because the cheese gets to me, but I don't know, I have nothing else to do this evening except suffer, <laughs> suffer from cheese. I could, I could get a pizza. Oh, uh, there's no doubt he's real to outing himself. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> it's weird because the most recent cosplay I have, the most technical elements are foam, so I'd enter the armor category. I'm not qualified for that. But it'd be different, right? Because it's like you're showing a lot of mixed media, which I think is really impressive. Because like, for me, for example, I'm sewing, right? I, I like sewing, I like hand stitching. I think I really like embroidery and, and putting in elements that aren't necessarily fabric and making wigs. That's probably what I, I like the most. I, I don't think I'm very good at mixed media when it comes to foam <laughs> and stuff like that, but you can do both, I think. Though it means you have to put yourself in a category, I think you definitely get bumped up because of your mixed media knowledge. Because that's hard. <laughs> mixed media is really hard, and it, obviously it doesn't always show as much for people that maybe aren't judging cosplayers. Maybe people that are just looking at cosplay and being like, "That's a heckin' cool cosplay." But these people will be judging you, and they'll know. They'll they'll know that you've used mixed media and be like, "That's cool." <laughs> oh. Wait, I have an idea. Oh no. Perfect, Dem. I'm gonna just stick to metal. It's easier. <laughs> I think that's the most difficult one. <laughs> metal and woodwork. Oh, I think I made two out of three of Jelly's quotes. Two thirds of Jelly's quotes. I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. Although, I think 
I think to an extent, like, chat making, uh, making clips and sending them to you also has helped. Especially in the early days. Chad, Chad did that a lot. <laughs> there was no escape. Dem uh, added a lot of useful commands to be mainly used by Dem. Yeah. <laughs> Dem did do this. There's so many commands. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, I would like to try making my own resin mold though. That'd be really fun. I think that is something I'd like to try and do for the next cosplay. Be a little bit more difficult, but I would I would like to try and do that. And I know exactly where I would like to try and do it as well. <laughs> It'd be for one very small element, but I wanna do it. I wanna do it. <laughs> uh, I know what you mean, Jelly. You have a love and chat with Dimmer Stitch on you in a minute. I got your back, chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I'll say duck team. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Welcome. Welcome. Uh I'm banging. No. We do not bang him. Oh, duct tape's done nothing wrong. It says you said submit won't <laughs> It says you su said it says it says you submit work in progress as well. Should I do a time lapse of the folding? <gasps> That'd be so cool. Yeah, like make it fun. Make it fun. That'd be really cool. I mean, I'm in some ways quite fortunate, I suppose, yeah, because I stream all of it. I'm probably the same for you, but like, yeah, like anyone who streams the costumes is quite fortunate in many ways. Because sometimes it's quite difficult to get work in progress pictures of your costumes because you just keep making them. <laughs> Especially if you feel like you have a deadline, you just keep making. Um, so you're not always thinking about taking work in progress pictures, you're just making. But um, with streams, you can just take pictures. <laughs> From that and be like well here we are <laughs> uh it'll be jelly the cosplay and jewelry shop wait, wait for that yeah. <laughs> uh, i've been downloading vods yeah yeah exactly it's just like the, the best way of, a lot of the time i remember i said i remember bam but i couldn't remember what it said <laughs> is this for the competition this is not it'll be the next co uh next the next costume that is for the competition we're just we're just talking about it because it excites me it excites me i think a lot of people are excited for it who might be entering it just it's just like really fun to look forward to you know uh this is not for the competition though this is just a costume that needs to be finished and the next costume is for the competition you'll, you'll know when we change over because uh the the scale of the costume will change dramatically um and yeah it will be a it will be a whole nother ball game very suddenly and also like the work that i'll be doing between streams will suddenly start increasing um there were there was a time where i did more work between streams but now it's like because we work at a more chill pace and the costumes don't take as much work i can kind of do most of it on streams and it still take like a month a lot of the time which is good it keeps it at a very natural pace but for that costume i'll be doing a lot more work off stream because i have to um so much of it will have to be done in the garage <laughs> but yeah ah uh... hugs wraps the tentacles oh there it is there it is oh i know someone who makes amazing in cinnamon mods if you ever need advice Ooh, okay i might be coming to you for that <laughs> regularly update my instagram with rips after every stream so that's that's a good way of doing it that's a good way of doing it so much hype yeah tentacle hugs all the hugs oh my i know i didn't make it but there it is the, the heckin hugs right we need to see the other side of this now these will have one side added also these will be layered like uh with these in the middle so you'll only see like a little bit of that little bit peeking out but they'll be there they'll be there <laughs> Got a little skirt belt. Pretty cute. Oh dear. Oh. Uh, 
because I know I patterned my sleeves for uh, the week last night and I'm super out to craft right now. Heck yeah! Do we? De oh, you're putting, your, you're putting yourself in the name. Yes. De Do we de yes! Ah, uh, I get my own measurements. Heck. Heck. God damn it. Ah. <laughs> uh, Right, I'm just gonna burn some things really quickly to make my life a little bit easier. After I've trimmed all this. Trim that right down. And then... Oh, did I, did I sew some fluff into that? I did. How did I even do that? And we just burn the edge slightly. Now this only works because this is polyester. I wouldn't do this if it was like a cotton. <laughs> because it melts. Yeah. Do safety. And then on the other side, we'll do the same thing. Chum chum. So originally I was going to do this with a Oh heck! Oh heck, who done it? Zay! Oh, oh yeah! I thought we have all of them cosplays. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be cool. It's going to be really cool. There's going to be a lot of coolness happening. That is for sure. Honestly, I hope they all get in. And then, and then you can just see them all together and be like and then maybe at a con one day, who knows? But for now, this is just really cool. Mine is going to lurk, the shops shall lurk. Thank you, Banana. Have a good trip to the shops. I hope it goes well. I'm going to put up the command in my chat to link all the streamers doing Hades builds. Oh, that'd be so cool. Like, here's my build. But if you want to see other Hades builds, here they are. I could come back. Welcome back, Jason. So Zay, God damn it. If I was talented, I could make a Daniels or Erebus cosplay for this. Now I can just go to my box. Oh, Aww. Dem, if you made a cosplay, I would fully support. Fully support. 100%. I'd be like, heck yeah. It maybe could be like a follower girl. Makes cosplay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you sense a disturbing lack of horn in the stream. I didn't. I didn't sense that at all. I. I <laughs> As far as I was aware, that was not the case. Oh, dear. It has a cooldown. It does have a cooldown, I'm sorry. Oh. I see the issue. Oh. Of course you are. Oh, thank you. Thank you for shining out Jason the last Oh, I love that idea. Shouting out. Shouting out all the people to do the Hades builds. Oh, that would be so fun. Oh. You could maybe do like a like a like a Photoshop as if you were all together afterwards as well. And they're all finished. It wouldn't be quite the same, but it'd still be pretty cool. If you could coordinate a pose. It might be a little bit difficult, but it'd be pretty cool. Uh, elaborative pose. Uh, then again, I don't know a whole lot about Hades. I don't know if the characters know each other, but <laughs> it'd be cool. Some, uh, some background, background research, looking at some of the, uh, some of the, well, this sounds you know, kind of weird, but some of the, what do you call them? Cogs and bits I need? I don't know if that's, that's the right word. It's not, it's not the right word. Some of the joining pieces I need for this costume. 
that correct? I don't know. I'm looking at a different way to do the finish now. I want to be the right colours, but I want to look like brush metal. Ah, oh, look too visible through it. Ooh, tricky, I believe. It's five away from 50 followers, and duct tape is only two away. I know I follow both of them, but yes, so close. At least I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Okay, let's cut this. Ah, uh, like translucent white paint, like a pearl. Pearl? That'd be cool. Ah, uh, yeah. I've been trying to. I can't. I can't know what they're called. But I've been looking up like uh, pieces between pieces that I need. Pieces between pieces that I need. Um. And yeah, it's been it's been fun. I've I've been enjoying it. Uh, enjoying it. It's because there's some of the features that I want for the costume that I, I'm not used to making, and I know what I need. I just don't know what the pieces are called. So it's been like a. It's been a process of like looking up, like describing the word to Google and being like, I don't know what I need, but I know that it does this. So if I type that into Google, maybe it will give me the thing that I need. And uh, finding it, finding out how much they cost, um, how many I might need. It was kind of the same process with finding all of the uh, PVC pipes and uh, connectors and stuff like that that I would need. Again, because it's not something that I'm used to used to buying. Uh, or in this case I got it as a gift, but I did recommend the person who bought them to me as a gift the pieces that I would need specifically. So I did need to find the pieces that I'd need specifically first. Um, and yeah, it's it's not the kind of stuff that I'm used to used to looking at. And it was fun. I'm enjoying it. I'm, enjoying it. I, I, I'm glad that I've written it down because I can't for the life of me remember what, what these things are called. Uh... Are you? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh dear. If if it if it's if it's linked, we can um we can permit. Oh, go go team! Yeah, the Dead community is always been so kind. Yeah, they chill. They can chill. Also, this is a. a, a yeah. <laughs> uh, got you. Oh, thank you. I was gonna say we could always do a permit. Just lose track of who has what rules. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Right, let's sew this one on. I'm gonna do them like maybe one at a time because I don't know. It keeps me interested if I do them one at a time. Sometimes, sometimes it, it means that I'm slower, but it's worth it if I'm I'm staying interested in what I'm doing. The thing is, and this is kind of an issue sometimes when I'm I I really enjoy this cosplay and I am enjoying it. You know, sometimes when you get focused on the cosplay after, it can kind of mean that uh, the cosplay that you're currently working on, at least for me, the cosplay that I'm currently working on, has lost some of its sparkle because I'm so excited about the next cosplay. And th this is partially my own fault, but it's because I kind of had to do so much planning for the next cosplay, so I've had to do some planning in advance. And so I've got so excited for the next cosplay that I'm like, oh, I just kind of want to start doing the next cosplay already. So I don't want to start getting uh, getting tired of this cosplay part of the room. So if I can do little things that keep me excited about it, that'd be good. I don't, I don't want to lose interest in it halfway through. Especially since I did the wig first, which is historically one of my favourite things. <laughs> okay, that's a little that's a little flap. Nice. And we're gonna probably put some little sparkles on it too. What sparkles do I want? I think. That's kind of kind of what I want. Maybe the bottom, maybe. Yeah, that'd be cute. Ah. Oh. I was using some white resin. Ooh, okay. Didn't use, but someone posted like ten to ten links or at least. Ooh, characters long each. Yeah. I have to have a look at that later. I'm sorry. Also, I can't really open links very often anyway because of my, um, my what do you call it, laptop. Unfortunately, so I'll have to have a little look later. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, we we had someone come in and kind of kind of ruin the links for everyone. 
it's unfortunate, but it does happen. Um, yeah. It's okay though. It's okay. That's why we have Discord because then people can post their stuff in there if they want, and I can always see it after stream. And yeah. But also, everyone can see it even if they didn't see the stream. Yeah. Oh, no, I've got some eagle. Oh no, there it is. Yeah. Who's the person that has got it? Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> an abrupt end. I'm also just using the leftovers of the thread. Because why not why not use the leftovers? If I can. If if they want the thread, that'd be great. They're looking just like my skin, so when I'm trying to see it against my finger, I really can't see the thread at all. God damn, where is the thread? I know you're here. Aha! Gotcha. Being a nightmare. Okay. Press the thread through to the other side. Oh, Rafiki, hi, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Welcome. Okay. And thread through there. Last couple of times. And just make sure it sits the right way. Because that's kind of important. We don't want it flipping around the other side because the other side's a lot darker and not quite so. This is a nice amberish colour. We really kind of want that. I'm going to have to try and remember to leave a little bit more thread next time because <laughs> this amount of thread makes it a little difficult, but that's okay. I can remember next time. Dear, go for the brick yourself. I'm doing my absolute best this not to. I'll probably actually end up putting a few more beads around it, but I think I'll stick with just one for now. But I'll do that afterwards because, yeah, we'll do that when we attach it to the bell. It hangs just a little bit lower than where the shots are. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Good, just gonna have it. Also, Runa, hi, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Welcome. Welcome. We're just doing some sewing. I'm afraid my pizza in the oven because I forgot. Oh no. Yes. Get your pizza in the oven. Get that pizza. Runa, I hope you're having a good day. I found that if you, uh, with peas, uh, if you have a, with piece of paper, it can help you see the thread. Oh, that might have helped. There, fair. Meanwhile, I'm just here like, why? Why must you be this color I'm struggling? <laughs> help. <laughs> oh dear. Also, thank you for shouting people out. That's very kind of you. Yes. We have very many talented females in this chat. Honestly, just so many. So many. Ick. Me. Oh, thank you. It's slowly coming along. We're getting there. We're getting there. I think it's one of those, it's gonna be one of those cosplays where it's not done until suddenly it's done and it's like, oh I guess it's finished. Cool. I've also got some stuff so that I can uh, start making the top. But um I, I wanted to finish this bit first because you know, you know. I feel like we've started it, so we should probably finish it. Uh, Alright, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, I'm having, a good, I'm having a good Monday. I'm having a good Monday. I think sometimes Mondays are a bad day of the week for me, but this one, 
this one's been pretty good. It's been it's it's been behaving. It's been having a good Monday. I think it helps as well. We did a lot of cleaning yesterday. Everyone, I think, feels different about this. But after doing a lot of cleaning, I, I always feel quite, I don't know, like, yes, good. Did a good thing, did some cleaning, everything is clean. <laughs> good. Uh, mods away, time to cause chaos, you go for it. Because honestly, the most chaotic people here are the mods. <laughs> you want to cause chaos? Honestly. Although, be careful about posting links, because, uh, yeah, you don't want to get, you don't want to get timed out for longer than a few seconds by night. I think the timeouts just keep going up and then you get banned. So be careful on that one. But other than that, ye. Yeah. Oh no. He's back. <laughs> Some people say an organized environment size an organized mind as well, but sometimes it works the other way. Yeah, I'd say this room, it's kind of like an organized, this like disorganized organization, like, right? It's not super, it, it, I know where everything is. <laughs> I do. I, I genuinely do know where everything is. But I think if you came and looked at it, you'd be like, oh. What the heck? What's this? What's all this? But I know I know where everything is. <laughs> so it needs to stay. Um, because, yeah, otherwise like, I lose it. <laughs> I, I cannot wait to see you make the top so I can see how to use the mannequin. I've never used one before. Ah, see. Now, because this mannequin is not my body, I can't use the mannequin in the way that I like draping fabric like that. The only way that I can use it is for like a very specific drape. So like what I did with Amelia for getting like uh, ruffles on a costume. What we'll be doing is using a pattern rather than making the pattern off of the mannequin. Which is a way that you can do it, but you kind of have to have the mannequin match your shape to an extent or the shape that you want it to end in. Whereas my mannequin is more like a shop mannequin which means that if I did that, it would be, the measurements would be all over the place. For starters, the waist on my mannequin is about six inches larger than mine. <laughs> it doesn't look like it, right? But it is. It's so much bigger, which means that if I drape stuff off my mannequin, it ends up not fitting me at all. Um, also, I've put a bra on my mannequin so that it matches on the bust. So the bust is about right. But um, the shoulders are sloped. Whereas I have human shoulders. As you can see, they don't go like this. <laughs> it's because it's like a shop mannequin. Uh, it's used to display clothing and make like clothing look good, kind of. But it doesn't really work for making clothing off of that well. That's kind of, yeah. But you know what it's been really good for? It's been good for keeping my costumes off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so that, yep, yeah, good for that. Oh, I have organized chaos. The only things I lose are the stuff I use daily. Yeah, if stuff leaves this room, yeah, I lose that. But otherwise, I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Compare PC desktop to the person's actual desk. They're usually on. <laughs> oh, heck. Oh. Uh, my desk is. It, it can get bad, depending on what I'm using. But honestly, I think because I stream now, it's not so bad. Not so bad. So far, Jelly mainly use the mannequin for displaying. Yeah, because I can't really use it for too much else. It, it's primarily used as keeping my costumes off the ground and always has been. Um, that is also what I purchased it for. I knew that I wasn't buying like, this was like 20 quid tops. I knew what I was buying, um, but it keeps them off the ground. And I like that because otherwise, especially if you're making like a ball gown, which is what I was, uh, when I purchased this for the first time, that's what I was making. I was making a ball gown. And I was like, I can't just keep putting this on the floor. <laughs> like, this is getting ridiculous. It needs to come off the floor. I can't just keep being like, bleh, onto the floor every time that I'm making it. Yes, human shoulders. I hate my clean, my organized chaos. I'm like, you're not cleaning, you're ruining. <laughs> Deli has human shoulders. I do, I have the human shoulders. I have four wigs laying around my living room. Oh, see, wigs, I hate the feeling of of hair. <laughs> this is why I don't make wigs out of hair very often. I just... Get it away from me. 
<laughs> I, I can't. This I don't. This is why I always shaved my head before uh, everything happened with lockdown and stuff. And like, just not keep get away from me. Now I have long hair, so I guess I'm living with it. But yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know the feeling. It's the way that I clean myself. I can't fight anything anymore. <laughs> I'm used to being my own worst enemy. Oh, bless you, Dem. Wait, am I ever tired according to what makes sense? I have no idea where anything was. I know. It's like I need. I need certain things together and doesn't make any sense, but I need it. <laughs> All of the shiny things stay together. Um, that being said, if anyone saw my button draw, they'd think like there was, <laughs> they'd be like, what's going on here? Uh, one day I'll show you all what, what I've done to my buttons. Um, and you'll all be like, what, what, why? Why have you done this? Excuse me. It's so over the top organized. I don't think I've ever met someone who's done this to their buttons. But yeah, I can't really show you very easily because the drawer doesn't come out of my button drawer. But um, yeah, my buttons are all in individual pots of matching buttons. Um, I left a couple of them over here actually. Sometimes I take away individual ones. I might have put them back though. Oh no, there's one here. Oh, goodbye, easel. So this is one of my pots of buttons. There's quite a few of this one to be fair. Sometimes there's only like two or three buttons in a pot. They are all in exactly the same pot. They all look like this. This is a little little plastic pot like this. Every single one looks like this. Every Oh, hi Blocker, how you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Ah, oh, every single, every single pot looks like this. And I think I have 120 pots of buttons that look like this. All with different buttons in them. Yeah. And I separate them all out. Some only have one or two buttons. Some have like a full pot. And I separate them all and they're all in a see-through drawer. <laughs> and it's uh, it's intense. <laughs> it's intense. I, I really enjoy it though. Every time I look at it, I'm like, mm, that makes me so happy. <gasps> Wait, you're making wings? Oh my God, purple. I hope it goes well. Uh, I'm going to be making a harness for the next costume. If you're around when I'm making it and you have any tips, feel free to like sh spread them. <laughs> this is like me when I studied a dog and it's big and I put them off the floor. Wings for days. Also, hi Blocker, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Button drawer, yes. I have not seen it, but I love it already. Yeah, it's very intense. Uh, I think you've seen that we decided to add a bit more paint to them, so we've been doing a lot more this morning. Nice! Keep the buttons in the pot, yes. No buttons bigger than the jar then. No, so I do have um, a few individual buttons that are larger. They're kept in actually a... Uh, what are they kept in? It's, it's in a sewing box and I have them and they are... One of them is yay big, I think I have one about this big. They're kept in a sewing box with my zips and fasteners. And they're separate because they are so large. Um, but yeah, those are separate and they're the only ones that are separate. They're all individual buttons. Yes. <laughs> oh dear. I'm okay, how is Jelly? I'm good, thank you, Blocker. I hope you're having a good day. There's a lot of buttons. It is a lot of buttons. I had, I think it took me like a few days to get them all into the pots originally. Oh, the only people organised like that are button shops. I know. I know. But it's just, it's just so tempting. I just loved it. I just had such a good job, time doing it and I really enjoyed it. And I was just like, every time now when I get, I don't know, some, a friend of mine gave me some buttons and I haven't put them into pots yet. And it just like, it stresses me out. <laughs> I gotta get a pot for them because all my buttons have pots. <laughs> uh, there's one example of buttons in the tube and the lid. Yeah, I have seen them in shops where sometimes they have like, they have it on the lid and I've considered it. But honestly, because it's a see-through drawer, I'm like, you can, well, maybe you can't, but I can see the buttons just through them in the drawer. I don't really need that. I like it as an aesthetic choice though. Maybe if I had like a different type of, they weren't in a drawer, if they were on a shelf, maybe then I would do that. Yeah. It's like going into a paint shop and asking, I need blue paint. They show me like thousands of varieties of blue paint. I know it's very intense. When anyone sees it, they're like, are you okay? <laughs> Why have you done this? And I'm just like, it just makes me happy. Like, I know, I know to a lot of people it's a lot, but you know, I think it's important to keep things in your house that makes you happy. 
And for me, what makes me happy is like over a hundred pots of buttons. And the thing is, I already owned all those buttons. It's not like I um, it's not like I purchased the buttons for the pots. I purchased the pots for the buttons. <laughs> and yeah, it just made me happy. <laughs> I won't have a harness my wings, they'll be attached a different way and they'll be stationary. Oh, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, I'll be, I'll be making a harness, but not for wings. <laughs> so I guess, I guess it'll be very different, very different, but fair enough. I have a Ziploc bag that has all my buttons in it. See, I couldn't fit them in that. I had, I think, two tins and a jar of buttons. And so it was just a nightmare. And a lot of them matched, um, but I could never find the matching ones because I had so many buttons. This now means I can always find the matching buttons. <laughs> I consider it a good day with a jelly smile. Oh, bless you, Locker. Sounds like it was a proper autistic sort of day. I had a very nice day. Well, it actually took several days. I had a uh, telly tray, you know? So like you have a little pillow underneath and a tray and uh, you sit there and you just, I just sat there and sorted them. And it was very, very relaxing. I tell you right now, it was very relaxing. It took me several days. I didn't get it all done in one day because there were just so many buttons. And again, they were in several different tins, which meant I would think that I'd found all of one of them. And then I'd come and find another one later and be like, oh, there's another one. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I thought I would found all of them. But um, yeah. And also, if you imagine having this many pots of buttons, finding the pot when you think you found all of them already and having to go back and find it. And I have a lot of brown buttons. <laughs> so yeah, that, that was quite difficult. Uh, David, hi, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Oh yeah, purple, absolutely, sorry. Um, let me, let me uh, permit ya, permit ya. I can do that for ya. I love it, I have lots of varieties of carbon and polystyrene enough to make an Argos jealous! But I love to give me a variety I need for my dioramas. Yeah, exactly! Um, let me just give you a permit. The permit lasts 60 seconds, if you need another one, just ask. Oh, sorry, there you go. You got it, you got it. You should have it now. It, there's a, there's a, um, it, it comes up in chat when you're permitted, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, two cow ziplock bags. Oh my god. <laughs> my buttons are sorted and then strung together one at a time. So I have a little box with those little button clusters. That's not a bad idea, actually. The string them together would, would be actually. I might do that with my beads. <laughs> my beads are giving me the same sort of like. I was fine with my beads, but then the more beads that I get, the more I'm like, mm, you guys need some kind of organization. I'm not surprised with the amount of buttons considering how much you sew. Yeah, it, you just collect them and a, a lot of people send them to me too. It's not like I'm just the one collecting them. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't need these. Let me just send Jelly my button collection. So I get a lot of buttons from people. <laughs> That's like a very therapeutic was. David! Ah. Oh. Hmm. It says it's identical. All right, we might have to try it again in like a little while. Sorry, uh, I, I think it was just that uh, the permit hadn't popped up in chat yet. Um, says it's identical. Can you permit? Yeah, you should be able to permit people. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you might have to do another one. Bear in mind them, they only last 60 seconds. So um, we might have to send Purple another permit because the permits only last 60 seconds. If 60 seconds have gone, she'll just get time or he'll just get timed out again. They'll just, yeah, they'll just get timed out again if you if you do another one and it's 60 seconds have passed. So um, maybe send Purple another t uh, permit before uh, trying again because you don't, there you go. All right. There you go. You've got another one now. Yeah, because otherwise, if you if you if you do it again, you'll just you just have the same issue. There you go. Oh dear, I can't click it, but I can look later. <laughs> That's the other thing. Um, but uh, yeah, I can look later. Thank you. I was thinking that if I make a dog, that I would not have much leftover fabric, and boy, was I wrong. I know it's crazy sometimes. Also, I don't know if other people have found this. I don't often use uh, patterns 
from from stores. Sometimes I do if I'm doing something overly complicated or very, very new, but I often don't. But the few times that I have, the amount of leftover fabric I've had from them, they'll be like, you need two and a half meters. And I'll be like, okay, I'll follow what you've said because I have not done this before. And I'll have like a whole meter left over. And I'm like, why have I bought all this fabric? <laughs> you've just, you're just adding to my hoard, excuse me. I, you know, it's maybe a nice fabric, but why? Why, I did not need this much. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's because, like, you know, they're erring on the side of caution, but also it's expensive. Please. Please. Uh, then again, I guess I can't complain too much. I like adding to my fabric hoard. <laughs> there's, there's definitely a side of me that's like, ah, more for the hoard. I uh, have four made tops of leftover fabric. I have a whole walk-in wardrobe. <laughs> And it's it's just getting bigger. Every costume I make, it's like there's more. Uh, but to be fair, I am working through it, and the next costume is going to use loads. I know it. I'm I'm trying to do a costume specifically that I can. Sorry, I'm sitting cross-legged, and I don't know why. Um, I'm specifically trying to do a costume that I can use a lot of leftover fabrics for because um, it's going to be more patchworky. Yes, yes. Sign your fabric scraps and send them to fans. No. You're acting like I'm like some sort of celebrity that I ain't. And also, I know. <laughs> It'd be weird. Sounds like you need a quilter in your life. But yeah, buy the scraps from you. There's some of them are really lovely. Um, but um, I, I'm just so attached to them. I don't know. Do other people get attached to your fabrics? I get very attached to them. I'm like, I'll use it. I'll find a reason. <laughs> Something will come up and I'll use this fabric. I know it. I can't get rid of it because I'll use it. And then nothing, nothing comes up. <laughs> Except that it does event sometimes. Like a lot of the costumes this year, because we've been in lockdown so frequently, they have been made near entirely out of my uh, my cupboard fabrics. So you know, for years like like 2020, they've been very very useful because uh, Shinotic, Celeste, Corp Squire, Wooloo, those four, they were all made completely out of my cupboard fabrics. All of them. All of those cosplays as well, all four of them came to less than 100 quid. They nearly came to less than 50 quid, but then I had to buy some hair for uh, Corpus Square. If I didn't have to buy the hair for Corpus Square, they would have come to less than 50 quid. <laughs> it, it was kind of mental. Um, and... Be because I already owned all of the fabric. I mean, technically, did I buy it at some point? Potentially, but also... I do get gifted a lot of fabric, so I don't actually know. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Gotta disappear for a bit, testing new Wi-Fi. Good luck! I hope that it goes well. Yes. Ah. Uh... All the things we do for fun, I know. It's yeah, it, oh. it's interesting, but fun. Right, we need another little one at the end here. Yes. <laughs> May, maybe make cosplay of an old lady that loves to quilt. <laughs> Aww, that'd be kind of fun. <laughs> I wouldn't insult you by calling you a celeb to your friends and stuff. You're jelly. I'm a jelly. Aww, thank you. Thread a needle again. This one's easier because I don't know why I just didn't bring the fabric closer to me last time, but <laughs> this time I have elected to bring the fabric closer to me and make my life just a little bit easier. <laughs> um, sometimes it'd be like that. Sometimes you just decide that your life's gonna be made more difficult by yourself. <laughs> there we go. And put that there. One. Yeah. And keep that for a few times so that it sews on nice. Okay. <laughs> and that was so much easier because I just left extra thread there this time. But yeah. Learning. Um, 
this one. Um, nice. <laughs> Two. Uh, Ragged Lady, hi, how you doing? I hope you're having a good day. I'm Zia Crumbit, hi, hello, hello. Hello, hello. I hope you're having a good day. Oh, you're playing Harry Potter? Nice. I hope you're having a good day. And Zero, they were playing no game. <laughs> Just like the other Zero. This sounds like the music of Minecraft. It is the music of Minecraft. It is. Because I wanted chill vibes. And honestly, recently I don't trust Pretzel. <laughs> I don't trust. I don't trust. Because um, they've been, they, they're like, yes, we'll play you chill music. And it's not very chill. <laughs> It's nice, but it's not the vibes that I'm going for. Oh, uh, well, thanks. Oh, dearie me. Welcome. Oh, dear. We are making the sort of like belt detail at the moment for anyone who's new. We, we've, we've already made the wig. The wig was so fun. Oh, takes me back to wig making. I love wig. Wig is so fun. Oh, really, the music reminded me of Ori and the Blind Forest. I nearly played the Ori and the Blind Forest OST instead. That was one of the ones that I was like, OSTs, OSTs. And then I was like, wait, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of music in Ori and the Blind Forest that kind of stresses me out. <laughs> so I don't know if I can do that one. Oh, that's a horn. Zay. I don't have the personality to read. I'm bored AF. Oh, bless you, Zero. You sweet bean. Oh, and Dragon Lady, thank you for the follow. It's very kind of you. Ah, oh, love seeing people sewing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I also like watching people sew. <laughs> it's just, it's just nice. It gives me something to do while I'm sewing, and I enjoy it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I am zero, but I still do it. That's not true, Runa. That's not true, you sweet bean. You, you have you have a lot of positive energy on your stream. Oh, good craft vibes. Thing is, I am a serial lurker. <laughs> oh, Zay. I think that there was a Twitch error. Zero. I clicked your name and it talked me to age of two hundred followers. Does it now? <gasps> Zero has secret secret page. <laughs> Now, ah, uh, oh, you did cosplay for your kids before? Oh, that's lovely. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Oh, wait, this is a slightly more stressful song. Ah, uh, yeah. Try for the last half an hour of my stream, and people stop talking to me. Oh, bless you. That's when Burb has to come out, and then we speak to Burb, or you speak to Burb. I don't know if I could trust, <laughs> like, trying to think of past animals. I've only really had hamsters and I'm like, no. Everything here would be stuffed into their cheeks and that's dangerous. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. No, oh, what did I do? You went wham. Was that my OnlyFans? Or maybe that was your OnlyFans. <laughs> Pizza time, heck yeah. That's when my bow's boring. That's when you're talking to your bird. I mean, that might be your perspective as the streamer, though, bear in mind. But, um, I don't know. I feel like sometimes it's a different perspective as a streamer versus versus the people the people watching the stream. Because you're probably harder on yourself than, than anybody watching you. Oh. And as long as you're, you're having fun. And then I think that's that's a, that's a good. God, this this is a slightly more stressful song than I was intending. I guess there are definitely stressful moments in Minecraft. Huh? <laughs> I forget those. I just like making chicken farms. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, bless you, dragon. That's very kind of you. I've got her uh, on the now. Okay, okay, we got it. <laughs> Thank you. It's very, it's very very sweet. Yeah, we've done we've done quite a lot of costumes over the last year. I want to do a big costume though. I'm gonna do a big costume next. This is this is another small costume, and then after this one, big costume. Yeah. You would like my burp. She accepts a lot of things, and if you are scared, I carefully grab her by the head and tail and just don't come back. And she'll sit there like, okay, I sit here. Oh. I 
think I think uh, I I get very excited. I love animals. I get very excited around animals, but I like I think sometimes it translates as nervous energy. I think a lot of people just assume that I'm uh, I'm lost or nervous most of the time, which it, it, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not actually lost or nervous most of the time, um, but I look lost or nervous. Like I, you know, a lot of people talk about like resting bitch face, which I don't have. I have resting lost face. So I'll be in like my hometown and people will just assume that I'm lost <laughs> or nervous. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, I think sometimes animals are a bit like, oh, oh no, are we nervous? No, no, we're not nervous. We've known each other for years. Come on now. <laughs> there are no nerves here. Uh, that's on me. I need to get better at that. Oh, thank you. I have, I have like 25 meters of this. And so I'm actually just trying to use some. Originally, this wasn't my plan. I was going to make a bias tape, but then I realized I had 25 meters of this. <laughs> and, and so I was like, I want to use it. Also, thank you, Dem. When I get more skilled, I'd like to start streaming. I've been painting, painting a goose. Ah, oh, heck, heck. Oh my God. That'd be, that's, that's cool. A goose. Oh my God. Nice. Geese, geese do actually scare me a little bit. That's probably one of the few animals, well... I don't know, I've only really met rude geese. That's pretty cool. Your energy is hyper. Yeah. I get along well with dogs. <laughs> Generally, <laughs> you can use attachment for adding ribbons to the fabric. Hey. You, can use, you can use an attachment for attaching ribbons to fabric. Oh, oh, like an iron on? You're probably right. <laughs> To be fair, I kind of want it to look stitched anyway. <laughs> I'm like, detail? <laughs> yes, detail. Can we have detail? So I'm, I'm gonna make it stitched. <laughs> I just, I like, I like, I like, I don't know. Stitching detail? Something about it. It's just kind of, I think it just makes it look cool. Also because I might end up going up and putting some beads on it. And then I will try and hide that stitching, but I want the original stitching to give me like a line for that. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm not sure about that yet, but I'm considering my options of whether or not I want to do that. And if I do want to do that, it's nice to have a straight line to know where I'm going. You might have resting loathing of dairy cheese face, just... <sighs> geese are rude by default. It's their default setting. I've only really met rude geese. They just get up in your space and I don't like it. <laughs> Swans are worse. Swans... Swans have kind of always left me be. <laughs> so I, as much as swans are probably rude, they leave me be. Oh, Rafiki, you have to go to work. I'd love to talk to you more. We have to go to work. That's fair enough, Rafiki. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Mostly when they have offspring. Ah, yeah. I mean, a lot of animals when they have babies. It's fair. It's fair. Easy fix. Cut your job and watch jelly. Oh, no. No. Work hard. I hope it goes well. There is that Untitled Goose game for a reason. That is fun game. <laughs> You know, I played that on Christmas Day. No, Boxing Day. We were gonna play it on Christmas Day, but we didn't have time. I played it on Boxing Day. And it was a good time. <laughs> good time was had. Because I hadn't played it multiplayer. So I wanted to play it multiplayer. So I did. <laughs> ah, it was good. Let me say babbies. Babbies. <laughs> Those are little babbies. Oh. Uh. It is fun playing that multiplayer. It's hell in some areas, but it's fun. And I like that you can honk at people. It's quite fun being a goose. <laughs> ah, I like the chaos. Maybe that's why goose are rude, because I think they like the chaos as well. Maybe I can't blame them, but I don't know. It still doesn't really make me like geese that much. Like when I see geese in the park, that's probably one of the few times where I see an animal and I'm like, at least in the UK, and I'm like, I am nervous. Although I did have a squirrel like hiss at me once. And I was so confused, there was like this noise. I was like walking to work and I could hear this noise. I was like, what the heck is that noise? Is that like a weird bird near me or something? Like, what is that? And I was like, to my left, there was a tree and there was a squirrel on it. Like, like, <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> And squirrels are normally pretty chill, and I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> so I like, I walked around it. 
Because I was worried it was like, I don't know, gonna like jump off the tree at me or something. And I'm normally not afraid of squirrels, but I was afraid of that particular squirrel. That one, that one spooked me. It was, it was making loud noises. And I had no idea what I did. I was just minding my own business, walking to work. <laughs> I've never seen a squirrel do that before or since. It was weird. Oh dear. You been attacked by a goose. When I was a child, boy, do we face off? I win, so I can cross the street. Oh my god. Heck, I hope you were okay, Gon. Squirrel hissed at you. Did it think it was a cat? It was weird. It was just like with its legs on a tree, just going. <laughs> it was weird. Yes, yeah, swans are protected by the queen. You can't eat swan. Only the queen can eat swan. Ah, oh, I left the strings really short again. Shoot. Oopsie doopsie. Well, I might come back and do this one because I don't fancy suffering. So I'm gonna come back and do this one and just uh, not do it right now. <laughs> this one will get sewn later. Oh dear. Oh. No, I can't do that. That's being lazy. Really didn't know swans did that. I've never seen it and I've never seen it since. I, it was weird, and I never want to see it again, because I, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it at all, and yeah. Ugh. It was just like on a tree making horrible noises. It was like kind of hissing, but kind of making a noise as well. That's why I thought it was a bird. I, I didn't think it was a cat or anything. I legitimately thought there was a bird. Like making a, like a weird bird crawl at me, and I was like, what is this? And I never assumed that it was on the tree. I assumed it was up like up so i was looking up <laughs> and squirrels kind of blend into a lot of the trees around us because they're like grayish and yeah it was <laughs> weird heck didn't like it Ooh. uh music check there is music it is background i did just check because i was like it's quiet there is music it's just quiet can't eat swan. Only the queen can eat swan. Only the queens can eat swans. Yes. I'm as well. See, I didn't know bearded dragon could hiss. Well, it wasn't a hiss. It was more of a small air noise. <laughs> oh, it did the small air noise. <laughs> oh dear. It did its best. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I thought the music had stopped. Also. I was like, I'm gonna quick check, but it's just a lot of the Minecraft songs are like very, very ambient. It doesn't feel like a dungeon. Yes, welcome to the dungeon. We're sewing. <laughs> Not what you expected a dungeon, but it's okay. Give me the thread. There we go. And back through. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, there's a really thick piece of fabric here. It's making it quite difficult to sew. But I think I've got it. It's difficult, but I think I've got it. There we go. We got you. We got you. You were a bit of a nightmare, but we got you. That was a quote. Oh no. Oh. Speaking of animal noises, my girlfriend has a cat which can't meow that well. You pick it up, it does a high pitch squeak, so cute. He's a special cat. Oh, he is a special cat. That's really sweet. There's a little squeak. I've actually met a couple cats that seem to squeak rather than meow. It's very, it's very lovely. I appreciate the greeting regardless. <laughs> Oh dear, 
it's gone for a minute. You can check out five millimeter bias binder attachment. Oh, helps you save time sewing. Oh, nice. I see. Heck yeah, nice. There's another one. Now we have sweet. It almost looks like a jester, like a je jester shorts. <laughs> There should be another long one. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, there should be one more long one. Here it be. Yeah, hey, that would make it quicker. Uh, welcome to my dungeon. We are sewing. We are sewing! Uh, to remember that Jenny's work is dungeon. It's a happy dungeon, though. We, we are happy. Dungeon of happy. Not a bad dungeon. It's a good dungeon. At least I hope it's a good dungeon. I hope everyone is happy. Oh no. Why? I don't think it was that bad of a thing to say. Was it? Was it that bad? Daddy keeps jelly in attention. Nobody keeps me here. I'm here of my own free will. I'm very happy here. I'm gonna drink some more my tea because my tea is getting cold. Mm. Uh, I might, I might change the OST though because this is getting quite quite quiet. This OST is. There was one that um, Drifty played the other day, and I was like, oh, I love that OST. Let's do that OST because I I do be loving that OST. <laughs> Let's do this one. Na, 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 na. Oh! No, it hasn't! <laughs> oh, it's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> awesome, it's Amy's Gaming. How you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Welcome. Oh, it is putting some of the, the gold. Oh, oh bless you, lady. It's very kind. Oh, I hope people know this. <laughs> Otherwise, this is gonna sound like a heckin' interesting OST. <laughs> oh. Then again, maybe it is a bit out there. <laughs> nah, so, uh, I can't credit because I honestly I completely forgot that this OST existed, and then uh, Shifty Bluke played it on his stream as a background OST, and I was like, oh, oh my god, I forgot. I forgot, but yes. <laughs> oh, I've been lurking for the past hour or so. Oh, thank you for the lurks. Oh, oh, so you've seen all this. Okay, I don't need to explain that, I suppose. Oh, I'm never sure if I should explain what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty good. Maybe it's not as chill. Uh, you know what? Arguably, it's still not quite so hype as the. Um... <laughs> it's, still not, it's still not so hype as the. But still not. Oh, I can't. I love it. Also, if it's too loud for anyone, just let me know. I've turned it up on my end because I want to hear. <laughs> But it does kind of mean all I can hear is choo 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 Oh Workout OSD, let's go workout! Oh, you can try and go sort it out, yeah! I was like, I'm gonna have to turn it down on my side. Oh, that's even louder. All I can hear is choo 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 choo. <laughs> so difficult. <laughs> it's so difficult to concentrate. <laughs> uh, yeah, the guys are going really well, honestly. <laughs> DJ Jelly returns. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 
He did it anyway. But that was so close, dude. I'm still crafting. No, no, no. There's still definitely crafts going on. Speaking of DJ on the street. Too pressed in that. Um. I don't think, I don't think I'd go across the street on YouTube at this point. Um. Nah. Nah. I, I'm happy on Twitch. Also, it'd be resetting everything up. <laughs> <laughs> we, just, we just can't be as good guys. Basically, it just has to be, be worse at singing. <laughs> you know, I have a art of this game. <laughs> and it's done in like a torn Guys, how you doing? Yeah, zero. Let me, let me, um, let me, let me, let me permit you real quick. Permit. Um, oh, surprise! How you doing? Oh dear. Please stop and say hello. Hello. I hope you're having a good day. There we go. I, I will have to have a look at it after stream, but I, I look forward to it. I look forward to it indeed. Uh. Too slow? What do you mean too slow? What do I do too slow? Oh, do do it all right. Like, how do I do it? Heck yeah! Nice! You can do all the background noise too. I love your eyes and it's a good composition. Fine. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. We are just adding the trim on the sides of the triangles that go around the sort of like belt. Thing. You can see. We're getting there, we're getting there. It's 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 a, a bit of process, but we're getting there. I can get it before you. Did you? On my screen it says I did the permit. It says a crafty jellyfish permitted zero. Does it? Does it on your screen say them permitted? To me, aircraft and jellyfish permitted zero. <laughs> it doesn't happen often, but every now and again I get that thing. Get ripped, mate. <laughs> Uh, I still appreciate the effort. I still appreciate the effort. Uh, thank, thank you. Also, to anyone who didn't know what this OST was, it's literally it. Now, now you know it says his name over and over again. <laughs> don't you, don't you, Devon? Good luck! No, Dev! Dev! If we don't know, we don't have a second delay. Uh... Ow. <laughs> okay. This is the last longer one. And then we can work on the smaller ones, which hopefully won't take quite so long because they're half the length. Fingers crossed. Yes. <gasps> they look pretty cute. They look pretty cute. Ah. <sighs> Such a good host. No! I haven't regretted it 31 times. Every time it's been Deb. <laughs> it's not me. Right, let's sew this one on. And then, then let's add the last little pen looking bit at the bottom. And start on the smaller ones. Which I don't think, I don't know if I'll put a pendant on the bottom of the smaller ones because they're much higher up. How to do it on the long I don't know, I want them to be some visual difference. I think 
aquarium might end up doing a bit of having a bit of creative liberty is um, with with maybe some of the cords. Let's take a shower. Well, look, have a nice shower, and thank you for the look. I mean, this is it's very true though. Uh, you you quoted it because you believe it, right? The, the, like, I can only assume you quoted it because you believe it. <laughs> and you were like, yeah, never has a truer word than smoke spoken. So like, I guess I guess I'll quote that. <laughs> To establish your character, oh no. Like, um, did she think before she opens her mouth? Your Honor? No. If she does think after she opens her mouth, and she regrets. I don't know why we have a dem regret command. We should have a jelly regret command. And it would trigger every time a quote is said or quoted. There'd be like a million regrets. <laughs> Oh yeah, unfortunately I can't open the link to the extreme. My computer, well, my laptop just can't handle anything. But um, if they're in the Discord, I can always look at them after stream. Which is, yeah, why we always say, like, if you're in the Discord anyway, you can put them in there. Um, it just means I can see them when the stream's over. My laptop struggles enough with streaming. Um, when I open links, it just goes and I don't want to crash it. <laughs> I just don't want to crash this チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。チケット。
Thank you, Sarah. Oh, the other thing is, these, these earbuds are getting a little bit more comfortable. The first few times I wore them, <laughs> my ears were a bit red off the stream. I think it's because I'm not used to having things that go inside my ears, like, like headphones that go inside my ears. I'm used to having like headphones that sit on the outside. And so the first few times I wore these, my ears were like, no, off the stream. But now, now I'm getting more used to them and they're actually pretty good. They're pretty good. I, I like that they really don't fall off. Also, if I wear them around the house after stream, I can still hear the stream, which is nice. Um, because sometimes I want to go make like uh, food after stream, which is pretty common. Um, or like, Shiny might have left work, so I'll go be like, how was work and stuff like that. Not always, but every now and again. And yeah, so I like do that after stream. Or fall asleep, but you know, that that's it. But you know, I'll do one of these things after stream and I could just leave them in. <laughs> Because there isn't, there isn't a chord, and I can still hear the stream. Uh, so that's really cool. Because I do like to lurk in the streams that we raid, but um, normally I would have to do like a hard lurk and like not actually be able to hear it that well because I just have like taken my headphones out and left it on loud. But now I, I can hear it. It's, it just follows me around the house. Sometimes in the kitchen, if I bend down to like get pots out of the cupboards, it disconnects briefly. But other than that, I can just, I can just hear. I can just hear things anywhere in the house, or from from my uh, from my headphones. It's great. Oh my god, technology is cool. I like that. I like that a lot. But yeah, I've been I've been really enjoying that. I also really enjoy that if I don't have I um if I don't have anything playing, I leave my headphones in, which I was doing to try and get my ears used to wearing them. At some point randomly in the day, it will yell in my ears, disconnected, and I get like a jump scare. Uh, oh wait, what have you added? We should have a jelly regret command. It would forget every kind of quote. Oh my god. A million, a million, like a million regrets. There we go. Sorry. No, he, he just posted an art. Oh, thank you. We should have a jelly regret. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, it. Oh. Yeah, it's been really fun. Oh, I like this one. The Katamari OST is really good. <laughs> it's just got a lot of like, like little bops, but it's just like really happy sounding. I don't know. That's why when Shifty played it on his stream, I was like, oh, yes. such a little happy OST. I love it. Yeah. <sighs> it's got like a little one. 
It's hanging in between. <gasps> oh yeah, all these toys, why not send them on horns? Yeah, right? I, mean, I like them a lot. It's like they're, they're slowly coming together. Oh. Yeah, I just have to put some details around the top. face by saying I know nothing about dyeing hair. Okay. My goose has horns. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. That sounds about right for a goose, honestly. <laughs> That's an accurate goose, yes. You might not be able to see the, the horns on those goose, but they, they have them. Every goose has horns. Because they're all demons. Why is there big chili in here? Oh, I want a jumper. I'm just going to grab a jumper real quick. your roots every month to make it look like a perpetual rainbow growing out of your head would be difficult. Uh, that'd be difficult because what would happen? Um, so first of all, I'd have to bleach my roots. And if I was bleaching my roots every month, uh, but they would only grow like a, like a centimetre, but um, it would damage my hair quite a lot. But yeah, I could. Um, but the colour would also take to, it would like bleed into other parts of my hair. So for instance, on the yellow side, if I bleach that bit, which I could, but if I bleach that bit, um, and then put say a green or a blue, it would bleed into the yellow and it would kind of, I'd get patchy parts in the yellow because it wouldn't necessarily just bleed here. I might get like a random patch round down here. And so that would be, a, it would be a bit messy, uh, potentially. But what you can do is do like the base and blend it out. Um, it's a bit easier if you do it all in one go though. <laughs> so if I was to do all of my hair at once, because then I could do each strand at a time. So pull out the strand, do what I wanted at the base and then do what I want at the end. Uh, and make sure that I was happy with how each strand color was at the base and at the end. That would be a little bit easier. Yeah, so I could do that. Um, also, Aban, hi, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. The horns are probably the most tame part of it. <laughs> oh dear, what's up? What's up, Aban? I hope you're having a good day. We are doing the triangles on the, uh, can I? On the shorts? Um, yeah, doing those. Rainy Maid Cafe, this OST, I know. It's, it's the, uh, it's actually the Katamari OST. It's very chill, it's very chill. Bleeding rainbow. Yeah, it's easier with that sort of hair to, to paint it all at once because you put it on like, you would paint it. And yeah, all at once. Too much effort, can't be fact. I mean, even this it's difficult to, because every time that I, I'm washing my hair, I separate both sides and wash them both individually to try and prevent the pink from bleeding into the yellow. And even then it's difficult, it still bleeds. Um, but yeah, <laughs> every single time I wash my hair, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of upkeep. Uh, day is okay, but the country now has a lockdown in day, uh, two days, so yeah, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope, I hope things aren't too mad for you right now, and that you are staying safe, and that you have some stuff to keep you busy. Yeah, hugs, all of the hugs. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Ah, <coughs> uh, thank you for the explanation. Yeah, sorry, sorry, it was a bit, a bit, uh, it was a lot. 
<laughs> I feel like I've been dying my hair for so long at this point. It's Apologies, sometimes I think my explanations can be a little bit too much for someone who's just wanting a simple yes, no. Oh dear. Work from home! Hope that goes well. Yeah. Hugs, yeah! All of those hugs! Thank you for keeping it to the normal hug. <laughs> Doesn't wanna there we go. Doesn't wanna pin at all. Oh you did want it. Okay, okay, you did want the information. Okay, no sign. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> uh oh, I did. Hey Jenny, hey yeah, man. How are you doing? Sorry, I think when you joined I was going grabbing a jumper because it's like a little bit chilly. It's just, I don't know, it was quite warm in here when I started streaming, but then I think the heating's turned off since I started streaming. So it's like, it's chilled out a little bit. Yeah, are you doing okay? I'm doing good, thank you. <laughs> the OST's a little out of control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good, thank you, Arthur. <laughs> We're doing the triangles for the shorts at the moment, which I like the belt. And um, yeah, it's good, it's good. I'm having a good time. <laughs> You can probably tell I'm having a good time. I love this one. <gasps> the song is that the song like the Where's my jumper? Where's my jumper? Where's my jumper? Is it that song? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's the only bit I can, that's the only bit of the song I can remember, which is like uh, oh wait, does it go like uh, dancing at the disco, bumpa the bumpa? Wait a minute, where's my jumper? Is it that song? <laughs> it's probably not that song, is it? That's the only song I know that's called Where's My Jumper? Oh, yeah. oh that's good. Yeah. It was used as a theme for a song called Blue Boy on Hulu. Oh, really? I, I don't. doesn't watch television. <laughs> but fair enough. Not a surprise Tobler won't cosplay. No, but if I was. Wait, that is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've sung that song to so many people and they always they look at me like What? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> like, because it's like, you know, when you have like your your throughout the day songs where it's like, oh, I've lost my jumper. Or someone be like, oh, I just need to really quickly find my jumper, guys. I'll be right back. And I'll just be there like, where's my jumper? Where's my jumper? <laughs> where's my jumper? 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 What are you doing? <laughs> I'm that, I'm that person <laughs> who's helping their friend find their jumper while like screaming where's the jumper <laughs> in the background <laughs> because I know a song that has lyrics that match <laughs> and nobody ever knows the song <laughs> so I'm just in the back screaming where's the jumper <laughs> oh I'm glad someone else knows the song Oh, I don't want to sing the whole thing because, as we already know, my singing is just way too on the no nose and I don't want to get DMCA for it. <laughs> but that's basically the gist of the song right there. It's why we friends. Yeah! We know the jumper song. Uh, the whole chorus is basically screaming, where's my jumper? And you know, anyone who's needed a jumper in a hurry because it's cold, I, I feel like it's a song I, a lot of people could relate to. I get cold suddenly and I'm like, where's my job? <laughs> and I feel it. <laughs> oh, too bad me are American. We call them sweaters. Oh. <laughs> Wait, you don't even call them jumpers? Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh no, I don't know if I know that song. <laughs> I think if you sing that without any, um, any without any, <laughs> you just end up being like, do, do, da, ba, di, di, ba, do, do, ba, di, di, ba, do, ba, di. <laughs> That's not how it's meant to sound. 
Is it just you and the camera kind of out of focus? It shouldn't be. I refocused it before stream. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look good? What the heck is that? It looks so good you can see my hand lumps. <laughs> what the heck are you? Fucking hand lumps. Oh, dear. Hands. Uh, it should be in focus. I did refocus it before stream. Uh, but it won't be in focus really close up. Uh, because if I bring things really close up to it, it will not. Oh, Fe Felly, heck! Thank you so much! What the heck are you doing? Was it my hand lumps? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It's very, very kind of you. Oh, another horn. Who done it? Day. Discord tweets, I wanted to hear it. Thank you. Thank you so much as well, buddy. It's very, very clean with you. The good camera. It's the Logitech Stream Cam. It wasn't my first choice, but it was the only one that was in stock. So that is the one that I have. And it, it has actually been a really good camera. I think the fact that I can also very easily change it to a portrait camera has been really useful for a lot of streams. So that's been actually really good. Yeah, you have nice hands. Thank you. <laughs> my hands. They have a lot of um, long little marks on them from cosplay over the years, but I like my hands. They do the job. They do the job of hands, and I appreciate them for it. You know, I am just very quickly going to, I think, do all of the pinning so I can do all the sewing at once. The music is making me feel in the mood for doing all the pinning and then all of the sewing. Oh, oh no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> You know when you just catch like on your cat on camera and it's like, what part of my hand do you assist? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know hand anatomy that well though. But like, if I was to draw my hands, I'd be so confused about drawing this bit. Cause I'd be like, I don't know what you do. <laughs> like I don't know what part of the hand you assist cause it's not my thumb. I don't know. I don't know what you do. You do something within the hand. But like, I don't know what you do. I guess I'd have to look it up. I'd have to look up what that, that lump does. I'm sure it does something important. And once I find out, I'm sure that I'll love it. But right now, it just feels like a useless lump. I'm on both sides, so yeah, it must be somewhat important. Is this your lady lumps? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> In retrospect, the song Lady Lumps was in fact all about them little, little, little lumps on the hat. <laughs> oh, this is the hand that I'm thankful for. I am. You know, I use my hands a lot for crafts. Um, I am very thankful that my hands, they are pretty good. Every now and again, you do chuck things, but other than that, I'm very thankful for it. I have twitchy hands, but they're still pretty damn good. They're still pretty damn good at, at doing the things that I ask them to do. And I'm thankful for them. <laughs> oh god. Okay, enough with the hands. <laughs> hands appreciation stream. <laughs> oh. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> oh. Dear. I think it's because I appreciate some parts of my body, but then I don't appreciate the other parts that much. <gasps> Look at all those hands! Show of hands. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Put that in. Show. <gasps> no. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I appreciate my hands. I don't super appreciate, I can never remember what it's called, so I guess I can't say it. It's the, the lining of the brain. Don't appreciate that, because that gives you migraines. Um, so that's not doing its job. Or it's doing too much of its job because it keeps giving me migraines. Um, don't appreciate my stomach, can't digest even cheese. Um, I do appreciate my lungs, I think they're trying their best. <laughs> they're just not very good. Um, but they do their best, and you know what? I cheer them on. 
I cheer them on in their endeavor to breathe. And I think they're, do they're doing their very best. And I appreciate the effort. <laughs> and yeah. I don't relate to my stomach. I don't relate to my stomach. Doesn't even like cheese. Also, how are you doing? I hope you are having a good day. Welcome. We are pinning. We've done quite a few of them already. These are all sewn. Look at them. We got, we got some, we got some triangles. <laughs> Uh, I think that's probably one of the few quotes where I'm like, any time that it pops up, I'm like, yeah, you know what? Nothing has changed. I still don't relate to my stomach. Doesn't even like cheese. <laughs> Doesn't even like cheese. Um, and, I don't know how you expect for me to relate to something that doesn't even like cheese. Um, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> doesn't like cheese. Um, doesn't like onions. Uh, doesn't like most red meat. Well, no, not really any red meat in, in any sort of quantity. Yeah, I really just can't- doesn't like kebabs. And I love kebabs. Doesn't like kebabs. I can't relate to my stomach at all. Basically, doesn't like any of the food that I enjoy. Uh, because you human bodies are weak and inferior to simply robot human bodies, this is true. It might take a while to train a robot human body. A robot human body? A robot human body to sew. Oh, this is exciting! Yeah, I know! Oh yeah, thank you for shouting out Lou! Appreciate it! No playing Hades! We were talking about Hades earlier! We had, earlier, three Hades cosplayers! All doing different Hades cosplays! And, yeah, it was very exciting. Ah, uh, needs bicarbonated soda or Coca-Cola. Oh no, stomach doesn't like Coca-Cola. Uh, but then also, actually, that's one of the few things. I'm also not super keen on uh, fizzy drinks. I don't know, I just don't like the, the feeling of fizzy drinks in my mouth. I just... I just find it, I don't know, not super... It's like, eh? I don't know, I can't taste them that much. It's just fizz. I'm, it's just fizz. I don't want that. It's just fizz. And it's kind of boring. I don't like it that much. I'm bored. Eh. I don't like it. It's boring. It's a boring taste. Ah. Uh, no problem, so they follow with 83. Nice! I don't know how you find that out, but hell yeah! I don't hide that actually sounds about right as well. Nice. I've been hyped to see some Koi's Hades stuff. It looks like people decided by the game. Yeah, we have um duct tape cosplay, I believe. Uh is one of them. Uh we have Sun Koi and then there's uh Hut. Hut is also doing Hut Army is also doing one. And they're all very different cosplayers. It's so cool! Ah, oh, yes. How was the game team the other day? It was lovely. We did, we did um, Animal Crossing on Friday. Uh, ideally, we were going to do sewing, but I've had a bop to the head, so we were playing it safe. Just because with head bops, you know, maybe don't want to be using machinery. <laughs> um, and yeah, it, it, actually, we did a lot of a uh, lot of the what do you would call it custom designs. Which take quite a while to be fair, it's a slower process doing custom designs, but I, I'm really enjoying the custom designs. I really enjoyed it on the old island, the one that I deleted, but I feel like I've got a real, a real, uh, I really like it a lot more now and some of the ones that I was too scared to do before, I've actually just designed. I've just designed a, a kind of like a railway station. I did it on my own time and uh, it's kind of like the idea that you do like a like stairs and a raised platform, but it's not actually raised. And I was too scared to do it on my old one, so I downloaded one. But this time I've done it myself, and I'm really pleased with it. I think it looks really cool. It's just fizz, it's just fizz. No sees on that hotel not liking soda. I just, I just don't like it. And it's like, you go to a restaurant and it's like, oh, you don't want alcohol? Because I can't drink alcohol, bear in mind. Now, I, normally I would have like a glass of wine if I was going to a fancy restaurant, but I can't. Um, because of the I, I, the migraine medication, it's like zero alcohol, not even a sip. Don't have it. <laughs> um, so I can't have it at all. So it's like, oh, that's fine. Here are the soft drinks, and they're like mainly fizzy drinks. And I'm like, I can't. Ah, <laughs> I think it's boring. <laughs> I want a fizzy drink. Ah, uh, I'm making bol oh, bolognese. Delicious. You like bolognese. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised things smell good right now. I think that's why though, that's why the fizzy thing annoys me. It's because I'm just 
so used to going to a menu and there being like just fizzy drinks on a soft drinks menu and maybe like a fruit shoot at the end and I'm like yay <laughs> yay cool uh I don't really want that either but yay I mean maybe I'm just picky but I, I just don't super like fizzy drinks and I can't drink alcohol so I'm just like um eh eh I guess, I guess I'll have the Capri Sun actually to be fair though if there was a Capri Sun on the op I wouldn't mind that one Capri Sun's actually pretty good <laughs> that, that one that one gets a pass if that's on there I'll be okay with that I tried to speak like a VR. Ooh. Nice. Wait, what would you what would you do though? Like spooky. So yeah, like the little girl would just like a really late for us. Fluffy was fizzy. It's so fizzy, I'm gonna die. The only fizzy drink that I like consistently really like, um actually there's maybe two that I quite like. Um I like Lilt. I do like milk, the totally tropical taste of milk. I do quite enjoy. Um, and slur, because you know what? I feel like it's not wine at all, but if somebody puts slur in a wine glass, I'm like, all right, go on then. I kind of feel included. <laughs> kind of. I love slur in a wine glass. <laughs> I had slur at Christmas. Uh, yeah. I also don't, I do like a uh, lemonade mixed with orange juice. That's nice. I think those, those are my, uh, those, those are the breaks in the rules. Those ones are pretty good. The generally fizzy drinks are blah. I don't like Coke or Pepsi very much. Um, I also am one of those people that can't taste the difference between Coke or Pepsi, but I might put that down to the fact that I don't have a very good sense of taste or that I don't drink either of them regularly enough to be able to taste the intricacies between them. <laughs> to me, they do just taste the same. Um, yeah. I'm not saying it for a meme, I, I legitimately can't, but then again, I know also that I don't have a good sense of taste, so it's like, it could just be that, or it could again just be that I, I really don't drink them very often, so that might also be it. If you put them on a the table in front of me, I couldn't tell you which was which. Hmm. This doesn't want to fold over very well, but that's okay. It's right at the end. And then that's all three of them tend to be fair. There we go. Well, that last bit was a bit of a pain. It's all of them pain. Nice. So you need to go to most countries that have a license to sell alcohol, and so the non alcoholic drinks, this is usually great. That would be lovely. I just want like a really nice non-alcoholic drink. Mimosas? I don't know mimosa. I'd have, I, I don't know what that is. Maybe. <laughs> You're non-licensed or just straight up illegal. Oh, shoot. Stick it off of them and they'll taste difference between every brand of cola. Yeah. See, I think people maybe that drink more, more uh, Coca-Cola or like Pepsi would be able to tell the difference more. Whereas for someone like me who maybe has like Coke or Pepsi once every couple of years, it's like, that's not gonna chance. I have no idea. Um, so when people ask me if I can taste the difference, it's like, no, I have no idea. But also if you put both of them in front of me and I have one after the other, I still can't taste the difference. But again, I don't have a good sense of taste and I don't drink them regularly. So I have no idea. But I think there's good reasons as to why. Uh, to me, they just don't both taste like fizzy drinks that I don't particularly like. Uh, I prefer orange juice. Orange juice is nice. I like orange juice. I like cups of tea too. Yeah. That's a good drink. <laughs> a good drink is a cup of tea. I probably drink a lot more hot drinks anyway. 
So you can have water and then like of course, but then like a lot of hot drinks. More than like hot drinks. As far as like flavoured drinks go. Hot drinks. Ah, uh, oh sorry. Mimosa is half champagne and half orange juice. Oh, okay, it has alcohol in it, I see. So maybe it's, I'm thinking of like a non-alcoholic version. I got a bunch of spins. There was a time when I could empty a half, one and a half litre bottle of Coke in an hour and good times with sugar and it didn't matter. Oh dear. Any recommendation of where to get a good night in the craft song? Um, make one. Yeah, you can make them. You can absolutely make them. Um, there's a lot of tutorials on how to make your own manicure on YouTube. I'd probably recommend doing that rather than me explaining it because you can see time lapses of people doing that much quicker. But um, if you're looking to buy one, it depends whether you're looking to make buy a mannequin or a dressmaking form because the prices will vary a lot. This is a mannequin, not a dress form. A dress form is one where you can alter the size of the thing. Um, and they are more expensive. But, uh, yeah, you can do a lot more with them. <laughs> Whereas I've got a mannequin just so I can like hang the finished product not on the floor. <laughs> but I can't really make stuff off of it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rana, you don't generally drink fizzy drinks, but occasionally they're nice. Yeah, I'm kind of more that sort of person. Not if you'd use a non-alcoholic champagne or recommended virgin substitute. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Dulcie, hi, how are you doing? I'm gonna sell them in a month. Oh, so you're gonna sell like a mannequin or something. Fair enough. Knowingly, I'm a wide masculine shape, so I'm sure about the right size. Um, if you're not sure, so bear in mind when you're buying like a mannequin like this, they're kind of more like shop mannequins. So like the ones you see in stores, and you can buy them in different sizes. If you're looking on the website, so I got mine, I can't remember if it was Amazon or eBay, but it was like one of those, and they were like sizes 4 to 6, 8 to 10, 12 to 14, 16 to 18, ones like that. And um, yeah, so they come up in sizes like that. But they come up in like, again, you can't really change the shape of it that much. You can put a bra on it, but you can't change the shape of the base waist and stuff like that. So if you're like me and you fit technically many different sizes based on your waist, your bust, your shoulders, stuff like that. You kind of have to pick a size based on its measurements and go with that. Most people don't fit the carbon copy of a shop mannequin and um, you kind of just pick one. But again, I only use this to hang items off of and I don't use it to, um, yeah, I don't use it to do anything else because it's not useful for that. It's not useful for making items of clothing off of that much because I can't adjust it to my size. Uh, nor could I adjust it to anyone else's size. Uh, a dress form, you could do that too. Uh, you could adjust it to other people's sizes or your own size. You could adjust the shoulders to be wider, you could adjust the bust to be bigger or smaller, you could adjust the waist to be smaller or bigger, stuff like that. But you pay a price for that. It is a much bigger price. Most of the time, a lot of them, at least the ones that I've seen have been closer to 100 quid or more. Um, so it is a lot more expensive. Um, so the mannequins are normal. This mannequin was only 15, 20 quid. Dress forms are looking 100 quid plus. So there is a big price difference. Uh, it's really what you want to use it for. If you want to make items of clothing off of it, you'll want a dress form, probably. If you're looking to get a mannequin that you can just hang items of clothing off of like this, just a mannequin is fine. Um, also, if you're looking to get one perfectly based on your body, you can make one yourself. Um, so you can look on YouTube to see how people do that because there are some really good tutorials based on duct tape, things like that, where you can actually make moulds of your body and make a mannequin based on your own mould, um, which would take your measurements perfectly and make it yourself. Um, if you're someone who is more skilled with sewing, that is actually definitely an option for you. For me, it's never been an option because I change weight so unfortunately so much because of the medication that I'm on. I'd have to make a new one every couple months, which would end up being a very much a waste of resources. Um, and like a nasty reminder that I'm just constantly cycling in weight, so it's not good for me. But there are lots of people where it's a really nice benefit for them. Um, yeah. 
And again, I also drink alcohol, so, <laughs> oh, so again, for the question, I'm super inspired. That's fine. The best you can adjust yourself, but they're pretty expensive. Yeah. My go-to is Arnold Palmer with a shot of Bacardi Gold, or I called it the Golden Palmer. Nice. Is there a swerve that you can make a lot of custom clothes or fit to a specific person? Yeah. So a lot of people will end up with one eventually if they do a lot of sewing, like an adjustable dress form, because you can then design the clothes off the dress form. But it's an investment. It is definitely an investment. Same as like a sewing machine is an investment. Same as an embroidery machine is an investment. Same as an um, overlock is an investment. They're all investments. But if it's something that you're going to get a lot of use out of, it's great. For me, I don't need one because that's not how I make my patterns. Uh, for me, I, I, it's more useful that I just have something that keeps my cl clothing off of the ground. This is perfect. It's basically like a massive pin cushion that I can hold, <laughs> hold my costumes on. Uh, and that's a wonderful for me. Uh, and it cost me, I think, less than 20 quid. Um, I got mine in the size that fit my... Did it fit my hips? I think it hit, fit my hips. Which, on, and my shoulders, so I think it was my shoulders and hips. Um, but it is, as I mentioned earlier, six inches bigger than me on my waist. Because that's just how it is. I, you know, I don't fit a standard shop size. I think a lot of women don't. <laughs> so yeah, it's going be like that. Oh, also welcome back. That's pretty cheap under 20 quid. Yeah. I mean, I did buy it, bear in mind, like, a while ago. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was cheap. I got it. I don't remember if it was on Amazon or eBay. It was one of those two. Um, and yeah, it's been perfect. It, it, it's been a wonderful, really, really good. I have absolutely no complaints about it. Um, again, I'm not using it to make clothing off of. The only times that I would do that is if I was looking to drape over a specific part. For instance, the bust on Amelia is a really good, I think, example. Because for that part, I needed to drape it over the bust for that, um, effect to make sure that I have enough fabric over that particular part where there is a curve and that is the only time where I'd use it for that <laughs> but I made sure that I padded it to heck so that it matched my bust because that mannequin has no chest to speak of <laughs> and I'm not here the most well endowed woman in the world but I do have a chest and that doesn't so we had to fix that for that particular part and once we've done that wonderful and yeah that's, that's the only thing that we have to do every now and again. Um, otherwise, it's been wonderful. Yeah, no, no real complaints about it. And again, especially for the price. The other thing though is I do only really make costumes for me. Uh, occasionally, I will make one for somebody else or I'll make a part for somebody else. You occasionally will see this pop up on my Instagram, but I don't really do commissions. If I was someone who consistently was making things for other people, I really would need a adjustable dress form because I'd need to adjust it to other people's measurements. But I don't really do that. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. To quote or not to quote? No. The answer is no. I don't even know what the quote is, unfortunately. But the answer is no. Oh. You know, in my position, I don't even know what I say half the time. I'm just out here trying to give informative answers. I have no idea what I say. Are you a person who really makes very customizable clothing and adjustable dress form is quite reliable? This is true. Again, for me, it's not really been an issue. I think with cosplay, I, I, again, I can only speak with the way that I make my cosplays. I can't speak for the way that anybody else makes them. But because my cosplays, I make the patterns for them and stuff like that. Kind of. Often it will either be skin tight, in which I will make a uh, a duct tape mold or it'll be based on a pattern where it's like a shirt or stuff like that where I will often use a pattern that I've already got like for a shirt and stuff like that and um, so I don't actually need the form for any of that that's again how I do my patterns it's not it's not necessarily how anyone else has to do their patterns it's, it's more personal taste at the end of the day Yeah, there are definitely options. I guess the three options really though are make it yourself, which would be probably well, not necessarily the cheapest, but potentially the cheapest. Just a mannequin like this, or adjustable. Yeah. 
I won't quote so few tutorials, don't think it's okay. Ah, oh, bless you. The quote would have been, I'm not the most well endowed one, but I do have a chest. Oh, bless you. Thank you for not quoting that. Yeah, he's a... Ah, oh, he's in the darndest thing sometimes. <laughs> it's all in the purpose of education. <laughs> oh, dear. Heck. Heck. There's no bad intentions behind the things that I say. God damn it. It's all for a good, it's all for a good reason. Oh no. Half the time I don't even know what I said, it's gonna, it's gonna be gross. God damn it. Occasionally I do. Sometimes I don't like to I don't know at all. Oh, I may be a tall mod, but I respect what God bless you. It's all in good fun. It is. No one's actually upset or mad. I don't know. Also, as a streamer, I can go in and remove them if I want. And I don't think I've ever removed one. No, I know that I've not ever removed one. So. It's a good It's on your boobs. It's a pain. Oh. There was a lot of context to that one. A lot of context. I'm just saying, there was a lot of context to that one. There's a lot of context to these ones. Oh, damn it. We are a wholesome stream. We are a wholesome stream. Also, that's all the triangle stuff. What would she think? What would she think? If my mum comes in here and sees just that, what would she think? Oh, what would she think? <laughs> oh. And then the context is, oh yeah, well, well like, the context is like, yeah, well, actually mum, this is massive, uh, well, it was just that, and I reacted to it, and then, uh, now it's a quote. <laughs> it's in the context, you just, you weren't talking about everything, I know. But it was, I was responding to the <laughs> There we go. Ah. Oh. So let me just go to, uh, face cam real quick. Yeah. <laughs> So you can kind of see it, there's a lot of extra bits sticking out right now, like this, because we go going to add like, the actual belty bit, but it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Ah, uh, oh you realise we can't hear you when you talk over there? <laughs> I didn't realise actually, <laughs> I did not realise at all. Oh, uh, I can see Kira now, yeah, there it is, there it is, that is, that is, in fact, yeah, no shots with, with spikes. Ah. <laughs> uh, He's too clear now. Have I seen a shoe before? Do I have my shoes up here? No. Yes is the answer. I, I mainly do shoe covers though. I much prefer making shoe covers. Um, oh, downstairs. I can get one real quick. Give me two seconds. I know where it is. the last thing I said in chat, the last thing you said, we realised we can't hear you when you talk over there, right? That's the last thing you said. And then I went and got a shoe. <laughs> ah, dear. Right. So this is a shoe cover. Um, <laughs> so you can kind of see, bear in mind, I've worn these outside, so apologies for like the dark colour underneath. I wore these outside. But um, it's got a zip down the middle. And then if you take it off, it reveals this is actually the shoe underneath. 
which is just, it's got a zip on, there it is, this side. So this is how I'd actually put the shoe on, would be just here. Um, and then the way that I've made it is to go up and around the shoe and zip up the front. And it gets covered like that. <laughs> and these were to go with the Silvari. Um, and it just so that they match the costume exactly. There's a little bit of elastic just under here that pulls around the heel so that it can pull on and off the heel just there. Uh, other than that, I think that's the only elastic in it. Everything else is just cotton. It's not stretchy at all. But then the boot underneath isn't stretchy either. Yeah. <laughs> you got all my anime figures up there in the back. <laughs> Uh, filthy shoes burn them. I wore them outside. Uh, any tutorial like that on YouTube? I'm sure there must be. Um, the way that I did them um, is very similar to the way that I do a lot of things, to be honest. I cling film the shoes, I duct tape them, I make a pattern out of that duct tape, and then I make the shoes out of that pattern. And it wasn't a super complicated pattern. It's... Uh, one piece at the end, a piece that goes across here and it's got like a dart in where the heel is because there's a curve around the back and then yeah you can see there's a seam up the back, another big piece there and then one piece that covers the bottom here and that just means it can slide on and off really easily so that you can kind of just slide it on and off like that. <laughs> like a sock for the shoe. It, it's super easy and then you just like slide it back in again and because of the elastic it's really just yeah it makes it a lot easier having the elastic around the heel because otherwise this heel bit it, it will stay on but it won't stretch over it quite as nicely so yeah having the elastic around the heels is good and i use a thick elastic also <laughs> a thin elastic would do the job but a thick elastic is It's just like dressing a, dressing a, what do you call this, a shoe and a sock. Uh, BRB, you tape them? Yeah. So like I cling fill them, tape them, and then, yeah, put a, like make a pattern out of those. So the thing with duct tape patterns is you want to cut them so that every piece of the pattern lies flat. I would say there probably are going to be tutorials on YouTube. I made these a while ago. I don't know if that, what, where they'd be. But if you look for like shoe cover tutorial or cosplay shoe cover tutorial, it's probably your best bet for searching. Tiny deep bags. Oh no. Yeah, that's a, that's a shoe. <laughs> I do that pretty. I, I I like doing that for shoes because it means that of course I still have the original shoe and I could use that shoe for another cosplay should I want to. Um, and I might actually end up doing that using that same shoe for the next cosplay that we make. But um, for the next bigger cosplay. But yeah, uh, I don't have to actually ruin the shoe in the process. I just make a shoe cover and it's good for packing, it's good for stuff like that. If I was going to a convention and I wanted to wear the same shoes both days, I could just have two different shoe covers. That's good. You can do the same thing with armor too. I have some armored ones in the cupboard up there. And there are no gator caps, use as much as you want. You may just get throttled sometimes. Oh god! That's not good. That's not good! Hmm. You did armour? Yeah, I've done armour. Uh, I don't do it super often. I don't like wearing armour, but sometimes I make it for other people. I wonder if I have it. Yeah, 
So like, this would be one for a shoe, and it just would fit over the shoe. And then, again, I need to bear in mind fit these for someone. <laughs> but um, yeah, so <laughs> you put a little bit of elastic around the back, and then it's a nice shoe for someone. <laughs> yeah, I don't do armor as often. I don't like armor as much. It's not as fun. <laughs> For me at least, I don't find it as fun. But this is the original shoe. This is what it was based on. You can kind of see it fits over the shoe. Yeah. Oh, so minimal, hi, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. And then yeah, these pieces come around the back and they will be held in like that. Oh, on the shoe. Oh bless you, you're using too much internet, we have to charge you- Oh my god, that's a lot more dem! Heck! Heck dem! It is what it is. Oh bless you dem, that's a lot more! I hope that- I hope you're okay, that would piss me off. If you need to go take a minute and sort that out, give anyone some like, phone calls. Like kind phone calls, but kind but stern phone calls. Please don't- I feel like you need to stay here. But yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's another shoe cover. <laughs> I guess these are like the two types of shoe covers I've done. Like, this type and the fabric type. Yeah. I could've, I think if I was making these again, which I might end up making these again now that I have the time, I don't know, make this bit a bit more mobile, because it's got the piece around the side that could make it mobile. I don't know. Yeah. He's a <laughs> I don't like it when dragons wear armor. They look like A, don't need it, and B, how are they gonna put it on? They have no thumbs! <laughs> how, did, how did the dragon put it on? Uh, it's so wrapped at this point, not what to do. Oh, Emma. Emma. You can't even, you can't even call anyone and be like, hey, hey. I'm a streamer. I'm a very famous streamer called Dem. You think, you think you could cut me some slack, please, as a very famous streamer called Dem? Oh dear. Yeah, for real though. That's kind of the new tier. There weren't tiers when we got signed up because we were fast to speak, so it's not all that. I mean, yeah, I suppose that's good, but like, you kind of don't want to be forced into it. Anyway, I should probably put all of this armor stuff away. <laughs> I'm supposed to be giving this to someone as well. Uh, funnily enough, this isn't my shoe size. Um, <laughs> but I haven't been able to see anyone over over all of this lockdown. So, <laughs> I mean, they haven't also been able to go to any cons, but, um, you know, I'm meant to be giving this to someone and I haven't been able to because, you know, cons. And so I've got all of this armor stuff and I, I can show you some of it. Some of it needs to be fitted, bear in mind. So I haven't been able to finish and like paint all of it. So I've just got all of this stuff like that needs to be fitted to someone. Like this stuff. These are meant to be like this is meant to be like a knee piece. And I can't I need to fit it to someone's leg. And I can't fit it to someone's leg because I can't see them. Um so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to fit it to a leg that I can't see. But like, yeah. Oh, it's meant to go a little lower than that, huh? At least I left marks, but yeah. It's all been dremeled, it's all like smoothed out, it's just there's nowhere for these pieces to go. <laughs> so I'm just like, I've got everything. I need to I need to um I need to I need to, to you know get it get it ready for a uh, next stage in its life. <gasps> Wait, did you say a forbidden word? <gasps> oh streaming's what got you into this mess. Oh no. So yeah, this bit, this bit goes like here, and then it has like a big sticky up bit at the leg. So it's got like really imposing knees. I mean, it's a really cool armor piece to be fair, but again. <laughs> uh, oh, you said troll, I see. I mean, I could probably, I might just try and do something with this at some point, to be honest, to see if I can work around it, because It'd be nice if I could paint it all. And again, it's very cold outside at the moment. Yeah. It's like an armor. 
yeah, I don't generally do laundry that much. That's fine. I just don't do a lot of it. I like sewing so much, and you can't really sew armor. Anyway, I was going to show you the next thing that we had. Um, I, I got a bit distracted there. <laughs> oh, you were asking if I stream? I do. Just don't mention it here, despite Jelly's efforts. Oh yeah, when was the last time we shouted out Dem? Speaking of which... Yeah, Dem does really good streams. He does a lot of cyberpunk recently. They're always very, very chill. And sometimes, even marbles. So this is, uh, this. In case you're interested, I should probably take, uh, under here. This is this. And it comes up to here. Goes down here. Yeah. Duct tape mold. <laughs> Jamilian, I wasn't asking for a shout out. You already gave me one. Here's another. And if Shifty joins, you'll get another. And if Zay joins, and this one's Zay. God damn it, Zay joins, you get another. Yeah, this is what this looks like. Oh, if I cut up, there's like a little spike at the side. Yes, yes. Toblerone bra, indeed. We get ready to make Toblerone bra. <laughs> Are you shouting out on my own channel? We don't shout me out. Whistle, 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 whistle. So this is what I'm talking about now and that we'll be doing the next step to make this be as flat as possible. Because it's important with duct tape, molds make them flat. So as you can kind of see, not flat right now, but the back piece is. Oh my god, hype! <laughs> another bodice, another bodice. We just make so many bodices. You're not wrong, Don. We make so many bodices. So first of all, cut straight down this bit. Because I know a seam will look good there. I just know it. I just know a seam will look good there. So that is back front. Oh, pen. That was a good song. I enjoyed that. Pen. 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 There's so many shoes around me right now. There is never normally shoes in this room. And I have many shoes. Intense music, I know, right? Sounds like the tune. Back. Left. Right. This is now the issue. Because this is going to be a little bit more difficult to flatten. Because as you can see, it's like. <laughs> Wah! <laughs> um, so I want to see and push it down and see bits where we can make it flat. So. I think. We can get some flatness from here. That's <laughs> we might have to do a dart onto the chest to make the chest flat, but that's okay, we can do that. There we go. That's pretty flat. Good stuff. Okay, so this is now three pieces. This is uh, far, left, side, left. Oh my god, this is dramatic now. Okay. Good. Good. Rear B, have a good bird. You can't work with a 3D body without flattening it. Amateur, you're right. I am an amateur. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Big old amateur right here. And now we need the perfect. Squeak. Um. Right. We need two of each piece. And I want. Oh. Oh, I want the floor again. Oh, I want the floor. I can't want the floor. Oh, damn it. Why am I like this? So I'm going to draw around them all in a chalk pen. And on the reverse side. So that I can see what I'm working with. And then I'll go back and do the same thing on the other side. So dramatic. So dramatic.
skirt is very fun. two sides together and then we'll draw the other two pieces yeah. I've started the OST again because we're not going to be doing so much today that I feel like uh, finding a new OST <laughs> I just want to listen to more of this And also, there might have been people that have joined that have not heard the wonder that is this whole OST. <laughs> and there will be people that have heard the whole OST and are like, we don't want to hear it again. It's like, ha! Ah, oh, so we need a new mod to... Oh, you need a new modem for the new speed? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. How quickly can you get that? Also, I read it as modern originally, and I was like, a new modern? Wow. You say interesting things, huh? I don't even know what a new modern is. <laughs> new modern. Okay. Okay. Why does this one really not want to work? Do I not have a lot of chalk left in this? Am I just not pressing hard enough? Absolutely not ready for how fast we are streaming. Oh, that's not bad at all. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. Half music is in fact required and also in place. Yeah. So good. Ah. Hey, so fast, so be so good life. Not with your streams then, because your streams seem to last like uh, how long was your last stream then? This stream seems to last at least like ten hours. If it's a stream that long, I don't think that can be true. Oh. There we go. Oh, I think the was on only five hours. Only five hours if the dude is on. That's like the length of like one of my middle week streams. Monday is normally a little more shorter, but that is like a normal stream for me. And that is the shortest stream for you. Let's cut this tooth out so it's a bit easier to start to make the back end.
it. When there is so much of this sort of fabric, it's so difficult to handle. So let's have a bit There we go. Oh, it's not. Not a common good for Oh, no. Oh. They're long. Absolutely not. Oh, my God, you it. I would fall asleep on screen. I just feel like I'm out there. It's the bad. The screen can continue, but I shall sleep. I fall asleep after so many streams. I couldn't do that. Like, mm. I eat and I sleep. And it's not like, also for anyone who's like not sure the time zone, it's not like our time zone is like it's late in the evening or anything like that. It's not. I think it's like late to mid to late afternoon. I'm just sleepy. I'm like, yeah, Jesus. I, well, around 10 p.m. I'm like, getting ready for that. I'm getting, I'm getting ready for that. Like, yeah, now is a good time to start thinking about going to sleep. Good day. Time to start sleeping. Like, occasionally, I'll still be on, I'll, I'll still be on mine, and occasionally I'll be like, ah, I'll stay up a little bit later tonight. And no, I, I won't get ready for that. <laughs> For me, normally that is. I am. I'm seriously considering sleep. Uh, again, sometimes. Not even my first sleep. The second sleep. So to be fair, the first sleep is often not considered as long as like it happens. We'll pin the dart first and then come back and sew all of the pieces together. going in oh no that's too big <laughs> we're going in here and pulling it out the other side oh. yes there we go and pull it down to here nice and then that should give a curve on this side this not stretchy fabric. And I just need to store the same thing on the opposite side. You. You. Apologies. <laughs> I, I don't like being really coffee on the screen, but it does happen every now and again. 
I promise that I am fine and it is nothing sinister. It is just, it is just me and my lungs deciding that back as well with a lot of these and with the edges <laughs> do, a, do a, a really nice um what do you come what would you say a uh, nicer uh, hem on these because yeah there's <laughs> it's pretty eh. the fabric it likes to fray an awful lot uh, you come back have a nice double look to the top yeah hopefully hopefully we shall see. Fingers crossed. I have my fingers crossed. I'd like it if when you came back I had a symbol to the top. We shall see. If things go dramatically wrong, I can't promise anything. But I have hope. Bon, bon, bon. 
Matching up. I mean, that's more just to preserve the curves that I've kind of cut out of the duct tape than anything else. The white lines are quite faint. I don't even know if I need to bother doing this on the other side though, since it does feel like they actually line up really nicely. Unfortunately, they weren't too intense on either side, so it's actually ended up really not too difficult. Yeah. You better top listen against TOS. Yeah, my poor mannequin has had to be in a, uh, what do we call it? Tank top for a while now. <laughs> oh, that was more to stop the, the, the mannequin being looted, to be fair, but, you know. Anyway, get your stuffs. Yeah, now for reals. Yes. Believable. Yeah, no. know. poor mannequin. Getting looted. The queen. Not, does not get looted. that when we were working with Amelia and using white fabric, it did make the fabric stand out a lot better. So, you know, it was good. It was good in the long run. I give everyone that. <laughs> Still a good mod though. Never the theme on to active. Yeah, I know. We have, we have, we do have. We've been blessed. Although they are trolls. With very good mods. Very good mod trolls. All, all, all four of them. One that you'll never see, but apparently is here. More than I imagined. I don't look at active users really, so I never really know who's here. Because um, also, like, I'm not going to address them. Because if you're lurking, you're lurking. Yeah. That, that, that's my, my thing. Um, but, um, yeah. We've been, we've been very fortunate. I think also because, like, Everyone says, um, of course we have wonderful, wonderful mods in the chat, but you know, help, all of my mods have given me outside of streaming. It's been like truly, truly amazing. All like the little things with commands and stuff like that, really, really good. That's not to say other aren't good or active, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> all, all of my mods have been, have been really, really, really lovely. Really lovely. And like, all, all of the help on, like, again, on, while streaming and also behind the screen, I've been really, very much appreciated, very much appreciated. Yeah, like, I, I'll, I'll freely admit that I'm not, not someone who has the best grasp with technology, and while I've definitely got better while streaming, it's still not something that I'm super, super confident in. So like, yeah, it's been lovely having people who I can ask who, you know, they, they definitely don't always give me answers, but like, I'm more than happy to help and often will have a lot better suggestions than what I might have tried. So that's been really nice. I know it seems silly, but like it's one of the most difficult things I think to sew is, is the curve that goes around the chest, um, especially with a not stretchy fabric. Um, I've gotten more used to it after doing it quite a few times, but it's still one of those things where where it goes right, it's just like you got it. <laughs> Even though I've done it so many times at this point, it still feels like a win when it goes right. And now the back. There is a 
slight height difference there, but that's okay. I must have cut one out a bit taller than the other. <laughs> we can fix that. The, way, the reason it goes kind of like a zigzag is because it goes so high at the top, it's to compensate for the, I think, underarms. It would be very uncomfortable to wear. But that's basically it. It would just be super uncomfortable to wear if I didn't compensate underarms. be like, Arr. pinching all the time. It doesn't feel like there's a curve on this bit, but there's actually a very small curve. Feel it, because it's bunching the fabric underneath just a tiny, tiny bit. Don't want to sew over any of those bunches because that would mean I'd have to unpick it and do it again. It's small, it's small. It's fine then. There we go. Nice. And that hopefully meet nicely in the back. Let's see. I have got clothing on, but once again, time for service. <laughs> Not that I would take that off if I, we didn't have time for service, but you know. Yes. It does, in fact, meet in the back. So, again, just so that I can show you on face cam, this will look like this. It's got the little, the little bit at the side here, which is like a little um, part here. It goes up in the front, which is like what Nico does, and it curves around the bust. Easy peasy. And it's just like a basic shape, but yeah. Nice. <laughs> not, not too complicated. And this was all done with a duct tape mold. It's not a stretchy fabric, so it needed to be quite tight, but not stretchy. It's just this way. <coughs> yeah. I pop this on here. There should be, yeah, like a little gap between the two of them. And also... And then what we have is these, which are our collar pieces, which hopefully, I don't know if there was a front and a back. <laughs> these are our collar pieces, but I don't truly remember if there was a front or a back. I think I did intend for them to be. Well, for now though, we can just pretend they were good. These will get hand stitched on. Probably once I've already put all the rest, so this will probably be worth the last. I'm so fluffy. It's really coming together. Leah, how you doing? Um, the mama, hope you having a good day. We have made a lot of progress today. It's really starting to come together. Surely, making the costumes. 
Yes. Oh, good. Oh dear. It's getting there. It is getting there. So look at you. Thank you, Floatil. How you doing? Again, the top doesn't fit perfectly, but that's because mannequin ain't me. But it'll fit good on me. Oh, yes. We've made some good progress today. What's the next things that need to be done? Um, uh, what was it? I just need to have a quick. I don't, I don't remember what the. Uh, what the. The character looks like. We better switch back to the main camera really quickly. Ah, oh, okay. So we need to make. You can kind of see them side by side there, at least. Um, we need the snowflakes that go on the bodice. Um, the, the gold stuff we have, yeah, fine, we can just sew that on afterwards. But the snowflakes that go on the bodice. We have all of our resin pieces here, there's <laughs> so many. <laughs> For the ones. Uh, and then we can also do the jewels, but I need to make the belt as a piece, um, rather than just then pinned onto the mannequin. Okay, I'll probably do all this tomorrow, bear in mind. Uh, not today, because we've done quite a lot today already. Um, and then the tail. The tail, I put a little bit on, actually. I wasn't happy with how it was looking before, so I decided to change a few bits around. But, um, yeah, the other thing is, it kind of does just look um, flat brown, but there is a texture on this and on these. So these are suede. <laughs> Not that you can really see, but this is like the perspective that you have on the Oh, they're really, really soft. <laughs> Not that you can really tell, but they, they do be soft. Everything on this is really soft, basically, is what I was going for. It's a heckin' soft cosplay. And I know, I know that's not gonna be for everyone, but I wanted, I wanted the cosplay to be like, super duper soft. Because it's like a winter costume, and even though, you know, it's a winter costume, not a lot of it's covered, I still kind of wanted that softness, right? It was like, ooh, but soft though, but soft. Oh dear. Right, let's see, let's see. Oh, did I? Where have I gone? Oh, okay, there I am, sorry. I the screen went poof for a minute. I was like, oh no, where am? Where am? Oh dear. Okay, okay. Right, let's see. Hmm. This is the end of screen. I suppose. I suppose we should consider doing a raid. Right, you know what? You know what? There was someone who was considering raiding last time, and we didn't raid them, but we've had a bit of chaotic energy today. It kind of feels right to raid someone else with fully chaotic energy. Let's do that. <laughs> it's looking really good. Thank you, Aya. It's very kind of you. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, last time we, we couldn't raid because it was a few different people. Um, <laughs> you know, and again, I didn't want to. I didn't want to pick favourites or anything like that, but this time, we shall raid this person. <laughs> And they, I, I, raised, I lurked in quite a few streams last time. Oh, oh, Zay. Oh, oh, a grumpy day. Thank you for the follow right at the end. That's very, very kind of you. And Zay, thank you so much for dropping the sub, sub, and um, normal stuff in, like uh, the the raid stuff in the chat. If anyone wants to pick one of those up, you're more than welcome to. They're gonna be raid oddly taken. They have such a fun energy. My God, it was intense. But it was fun. And you know what? We've had more chaotic energy today. Let's go there. There's a lot of chaos. <laughs> but if you're ready for some chaos, there's some chaos over there. They're actually doing sculpting today as well, which is something that we don't often, like I don't often do. Um, but it is it is a really useful thing if you're interested in cosplay. It's useful. <laughs> it's useful. Um, I would need to get better with that if I wanted to do more proxy and, uh, like, and resin and stuff like that. I need to get better with sculpting. So it's useful. It is useful. So we're gonna send you all over there. Otherwise, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you so much for hanging out and chilling and putting up with my music choices. <laughs> and yeah, grab grab an alert thingy if you want. And otherwise, let's go send lots of love to Ottilie. See you all soon. Take care.